welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the second try. <laughs> welcome, you guys, if you're brand new. This is a live shoppable store. Everything that you see while I'm live, you can actually shop live in real time. All you have to do is register and all the info is down below in the description box. If you're not signed up for Cash App or PayPal, I also have cash back links down below when you make your first purchase with Cash App or PayPal. You and I can both get $5 back with your first purchase. So please register if you're brand new and freshly registered. Hi, Glenda. If you're brand new and freshly registered, um, you will definitely um, be a new name to me. So let me know that you're registered and let me know that you're good to go. Welcome back, everyone. Hi, Diane. Let me go to the live um, here on my computer as well. Um, let's turn the volume down so we don't get feedback. Okay, let's see here. Let me do a little refresh. But basically it's first come, first serve. When I first started these off, they were auctions and then we just turned it into first come, first serve. So if you see something that you like, say that you want it. If you're watching this afterwards on playback, you are more than welcome to contact me, let me know what you like, um, and I will let you know what is or what isn't available. My room is a mess. I showed you guys my, my room last week. There's been no progress whatsoever. Last time I went to Ikea was with my daughter, Jaya, and we just got things for her closet. And I looked at some things, but I really haven't made any progress since last week. I have my chair, I have my desk, I have a rolling rack, and I have basically a bunch of storage totes in here. But yeah, you guys, I want to go ahead and get started. Jeffrey says, Taco Bell Thursday. Taco Bell Thursday? <laughs> Did you have Taco Bell today, Jeffrey? What did you have? What did you have from the menu? And please tell me you went during happy hour and got at least one of the dollar uh, like slushies or whatever they call it. Those are pretty good. My kids like to get the Baja Blast. Glad you guys are all here. Um, I have my desk pulled out a little bit because I have um, I have my um, this like charging unit for USB and everything and it's kind of it kind of sticks out so it's kind of awkward to get to so I kind of pulled my desk back but yeah you guys let's go ahead and get started I have a bunch of Dollar Tree bins loaded with a bunch of different things hopefully I'm more organized this week than last week I'm gonna have um, dollar items um, three for ten dollar items some two for five dollar candy i have um five dollar items uh two for 12 some 10 some 15 just a variety of things you guys lots of three for 10 i'm gonna have some three for 10 stickers three for 10 organizing bins ikea bags i do have some pioneer woman items you guys if you were here last week they are the same items, towels, plates. But as you guys know, from week to week, I do play around with my prices. So some of the prices you saw last week may be different this week. Um, oh, yeah. Lori says, no candy for me. Squirrels. Lori, you're going to have to tell the story to those that are new here. Lori ordered candy, ordered candy from me last year. And all I have to say and all Lori has to say is squirrels. Yes. <laughs> but you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I did want to bring out some pens. Hi, Joy. Um, little by little, I'm going to be bringing out new things and maybe some things you guys have seen before. Like right now, I have a bunch of cat pens on the counter. I'm looking for a cap of one of these. Um, but I have a lot of cat pens here on my, actually not counter, my desk. New location uh, to those that maybe haven't been here in a while. I am in Las Vegas now in a new house. We did move from Minnesota and we are loving it here. But yes, you, yes, you guys, all my pens are gel pens. They're fine pens. They're really good. Um, and these are most of the cat ones that I have. I actually have a whole other variety of um, cat pens over here. I'm just going to grab a handful for now. I figured some of you... 
that have ordered pens from me before probably need some more. So yeah, Lori says, meow, mommy. You, you see mommy on the counter? Of course. <gasps> Jenny is here. Hi, Jenny. We missed you last week, Jenny. And we're just getting started. Oh my God, Lucky's here. Lucky is a subscriber to Jaya Capretta, my daughter. Um, Lucky is now a subscriber here too, you guys. So please welcome Lucky and any of Jaya's subscribers that are now coming on over lucky so i do a live um like store every week where i sell like cute things art items stationary items stickers skincare candy um sometimes like jewelry wallets um socks home items sometimes some vintage items Yes, you're a stan of Mama, uh, Mama Jaya and Jaya. Aw, thank you, Lucky. We love you, Lucky. Lucky is so sweet, you guys. Everyone be super sweet and welcome Lucky. Lucky was on my last live stream where Jaya and I were at Ikea. Some of you guys might have said hi to Lucky already, but welcome, Lucky. Um, yes, you guys, so let's go ahead and start off with some pens. All of my pens are five for five dollars i'm not bringing all of them out today but as you guys can see it's a cute variety and what we do is just a random variety like if you see one or two pens that you like really have to have please let me know and i'll make sure those are included but pens are five for five and then i also have these pastel ones so we have a couple shades of pink a couple shades of purple we have a pretty blue, we have white, we have black, which is mommy, right, Justine? Justine loves mommy. Oh my gosh, Justine, um, I'm gonna have to take some pictures and maybe do some community posts because Jaya got a pink and white gingham cat chair, um, which mommy has been loving, and a Japanese strawberry milk carton cat house with a cute little circular window. Terilyn's here. Hi, honey. So glad you're here. Welcome. So glad all of you guys are here to everyone that's new and to all my OGs. So glad you guys are all here. But yes, you guys, I have lots of cat pens. So cat pens are five for five, five for five. They're super, super cute and good. Everyone that's bought them from me in the past, look at the tail. You guys can say how much you like these. They all have the little nib on them that you have to take off the little rubber nib um, that you have to take off when you're ready to use it that just keeps it fresh and all of the cat faces are different little faces some of them even have cute bows and they're winking their eyes and stuff like that so pens are five for five if you guys want to bundle i also have cactus pens that are really really nice i know a lot of you guys have purchased some cactus pens for me you guys know i love cactus um and also the roses i figured i would bring out some of the roses um the roses are really cute they're also fine tipped with the little rubber nib to protect them but we have red roses bright pink roses and bright yellow roses so glad you guys are all here okay so anyone wants a bundle let me know we're gonna do some stickers next I'm gonna load up the cat pens and we're gonna do some stickers. Oh my gosh, Joy, happy memberversary. One more month till my one year. Thank you so much for everything you do, Mimi. You're the most sweetest person ever. Love you. And I love you more, Joy. Joy, you are, you are amazing, Joy. And I appreciate your loyalty and your support. Happy memberversary. I'm so glad you're here. You guys, I do have um, even more pens i have a lot of cute and kawaii um pens as well um you guys know since the move i have not had a whole whole lot of time to organize everything yet but i do have other cute pens chubby bunnies pandas llamas alpacas unicorns um a little avocado here's a look at one of the cactus pens I love the cactus pens. They're so good. They're all really, really good. We have cute little penguins, more cats, um, a little like mad bunny, not bad bunny, but mad bunny. Um, I love bad bunny, by the way. I like his music so much. I've been listening to him for a really long time. 
Um, okay, you guys, so let's move over to some stickers. These are going to be three for ten. Ooh, Carlene is here from Jamaica. Carlene, you've been subscribed for so long. Thank you, Carlene. I see you and I recognize you and appreciate you so much. You've been here for so long, Carlene. I think you've been subscribed for probably over five years, maybe even longer. And I appreciate you. I have so many loyal viewers from, from Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad, and Tobago. So... To everyone from the Caribbean watching, I love you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. You guys, let's start with some stickers. I picked these up right before I moved. They're like the hard acrylic balloon animals. They're so cute. All my stickers are three for 10. So we have balloon animals. We have cute little kawaii planets. You guys know me. I love everything cute and kawaii. We have the shiny letters reminds me of 80s um, t-shirt graphics so again if you guys see something that you want along the way just say hey I want that and I'm going to pull it for you and I'm going to write it down on my little sheet and um, and we're going to keep it moving okay I do also have I have a whole stack here on my lap you guys I think I might have my duplicates together but maybe not I had all of these in a nice, neat little container for the move. We have cactus that have sort of a, a rise to them and like a glitter. I have some sea animals. I was kind of disappointed, you guys, um, this summer with Dollar Tree. Joy M is here. Hi, Joy. I was looking for a lot of those ocean-themed stickers, and I just never found them, you know? I just, they just never popped up. Oh my gosh, Robin, we have some dream catchers. I know you love dream catchers. These kind of um, have that wood sort of feel to them or look to them. They almost look like they're made out of birch wood. So we have the dream catchers and the feathers. We have, now some of these you guys have seen. These ones are so cute. And I have two of most of them. We have one that has butterflies, birds, and flowers. Oh no, you guys, a whole bundle just fell on the floor. <laughs> I have some more of these wooden ones that are like airplanes, hot air balloons, aviation themed. You guys definitely keep the chat fun, keep the chat alive, uh, drop emojis. You guys, let's keep it fun in here. If stickers aren't your thing, then just have fun in the chat. like. No pressure to buy. If you guys see something you really want that you really want to buy, uh, hey, I'm here to sell it to you. But if you guys just want to hang out in the chat, that's fine too. Robin, Robin from Virginia. Hi, Robin. That's where I'm originally from. That's where the majority of my family is. Like my grandmother, my a lot of my cousins, all my aunts. Okay. Ash, look what I have, Ash. Flamingos, we have flamingos. We have cute little avocados with little like, they're not shakers, but they kind of look like they'd be shakers. Okay, let's see, another flamingo one. And considering that everything just fell on the floor, um, some, of my, some of my doubles might have gotten misplaced. I've had these for a few years, you guys. They used to sell these for a dollar in Family Dollar. Three sheets. I've had these for quite a while. These are from my personal stash. Halloween stickers. We also have the fall stickers. Nice place to live. Yep, I spent all my summers in Virginia as a kid. We have the turkeys here, the owls. We have a two-pack of, it says Glitter Bling icons glitter bling icons um i also have the butterfly and the mason jar those are also little patches this is from michael's this is a um this is going to be a great deal for three for ten we have purple and blue themed it's party time make it sparkle you are lovely these are tags um it says spring wrap bags and shred 
Originally $5 at Michael's and it comes with the string. Robin says, may I get two cactus stickers and the, and the dream catchers? You got it, Robin. Thank you so much, Robin. Get off the door. Ah, ah, ah. You guys, I had to put the, uh, I had to put the water and all the cat stuff outside of the door because they kind of just kept coming in when I get when I get more settled um we'll probably like have some cute cat stuff in the background so you guys can watch them um you know moving around and playing and having fun but right now there's not enough space okay Robin wants two cactus stickers two cactus stickers and dream catchers and Robin would like five pastel five pastel am i am i wiggling the camera you guys am i wiggling my phone five pastel cat pens thank you so much robin thank you okay let's see i'm gonna pull them at the very end okay i also have um it says here for you take care sending happy thoughts these stamps are also part of the three for ten and you can just use these on the clear acrylic blocks. I have two of those. We also have um, more feathers, more feathers. Yes, Robin getting it started tonight. You guys, a little rusty starting last week. I got your packages shipped off today. I do apologize for them getting shipped off late. I was a little rusty getting my setup going. And I was also waiting for a potentially new customer that then said they couldn't make the purchase. I was hoping that I was gonna be able to ship everything together and I was kind of waiting on them. And so I kind of stalled everyone else out, which I, I'm not gonna do that in the future, you guys. So I apologize that I did ship it a little, um, a little later than usual, but everything is in the mail. And I hope you guys understand, you guys know I'm always super fast with shipping very very fast uh hey i'm not i'm not big like amazon but i do try to be very quick with my shipping oh these ones are cute you guys look at the clear stamps more clear stamps with the vase you could try to uh, build a cute little like layout maybe in your planner or something with the vase with the flowers we have the stems here so i have two of these two of these i'm so glad you guys are all here I have this one, um, wishing you well, so thankful for all you do, thinking of you, more really pretty flowers, nice font on here, a little note with the biggest thanks for all my crafters, for all my planners. Stickers are still going, guys. We still have more stickers, and I still have a pile of stickers that fell on the floor that I'm about to pick up. I have even more butterflies. These were brand new this summer. I only saw these at one Dollar Tree at Jerry's store, Jerry and Barbie store. And then we have this pastel one with the holographic reflections. Violets. More flowers. We have another little one here with hot air balloons and cactus and bikes. Am I zoomed in? I think I am. Let me see. Let's go out a little bit. Those clear stamps are freaking cute. They are. They are really cute. We have hydrangeas. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. I love it when you guys are just being awesome moderators and, and encouraging everyone to like. Yes. We're, we're up to 19 likes. We have a vacation one. May I get the clear stamps with the bike, the wishing you well, and the one with the flowers, please. You got it, Robin. So that's a total of three, right, Robin? Three stamps. Let me just pull those since they're, they're kind of recent. And just tell me, Robin, if that's three or two, but I think it's three. Okay. Okay, the wishing you well. Let's pull that. And then we have the flowers. Yes, all three. And then the bike. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you, Robin. I'm going to pull all of your others here in just a minute, too. And then we have some teacups and coffee cups. Super cute. I love coffee, donuts. We have lots of flowers. 
I love flowers. Thank you, Robin. Daisies. Um, some summer ones left over. I, I uh, <laughs> didn't think that I was going to have the store on vacation for as long as I did, you guys. And I picked up a lot of summer stuff. Um, so some of my summer things. I mean, I know it's not summer anymore, but if you guys love to shop for all seasons, then there's going to be a lot of, um, a lot of variety here. But yeah, a lot of summer. I have even more stamps. Look at these little ones. These little cute chubby, um, like geckos. Color, live life in full. You are amazing. Thanks to Chameleon. Oh, they're chameleons. And we have little like paint brushes and paint rollers. Super cute. I have two of those. Another one of these, like the one Robin just got. I have some black and white letters. Those are new as of, I think, July. This one, I have two of these. Stickers forever, right? Stickers are just going on forever. This one's really pretty. It has a little bit of turquoise foil. Uh, I like all the pretty emojis. Oh, I love these. I love these so much that I got three of them. Aren't they super pretty for all my pink lovers? Jess, Justine. I'm a pink lover. Who else is a pink lover? I love the pinks and purples. And then we have two of these. Hummingbirds. I saw my first hummingbird here in Vegas, you guys. Actually, I saw two of them. When we first got here, I saw this tiny, like, itty bitty tiny thing that I thought was maybe a moth, but I think it might have been a hummingbird. But I actually got a good look at, um, and I have one of these, you guys. I had, I got a good look at these little hummingbirds that were in our backyard yesterday. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we do have hummingbirds here. And my husband was like, you got to put the feeder up. Like you got to put it up. And I'm, and guess what you guys, I just realized we left our hummingbird feeder in Minnesota. It's hanging on our back porch. Yeah, it is. I guess I could always have my parents send it to me, but <laughs> I know. And Justine, you purchased the glass and gold feeder. Um, I remember that you purchased that. So hopefully your hummingbirds have been liking that. Um, but yeah, we left our main hummingbird feeder in Minnesota. I also have this little, um, it's a memory book, holds 15 photos. Uh, it was a little handmade um, thing from a little craft fair I went to one time. It says 975 here. Um, it opens up and it's much bigger. I don't, I really don't think I want to open it up though, you guys because um, you basically can open this up. Yeah, thank you for choosing one of our pieces. Latina, hey B, welcome B. I, I was just summoning pink lovers. I was just summoning all the pink lovers and I didn't know you were here. Look, I got some letter stickers. So these are all three for 10. Thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good too. We're here in Vegas now. We've been here since the end of July. Yes. So you guys, these are all the stickers. Um, now you guys know I have tons and tons of stickers. We might look at some more large stickers later, but I have tons and tons of stickers. Um, I also have, this as part of the three for 10. Um, these are the little hearts and the brand is, what's the brand? American Crafts. This is part of the three for 10. They're like chunky little acrylic hearts. I think they might have a sticky on the back, but I'm not sure. Um, it just says a delightful embellishment. Yeah, so that's also part of the three for 10 and also part of the three for 10 Aw, uh, thank you, B. We've missed you too. This is um, a big roll of orange, like, what do you guys want to call this? I showed this last week. 
Um, it also has a little bit of um, like iridescent or holographic little like squares or circles in it. But this came from Michael's, but in the move, the little end pieces came off. I gotta move some of the stickers, you guys. But if anyone um, sees any stickers that they want, I'm gonna pull Robins. If anyone sees any stickers that they want, please let me know while I'm putting them away. Again, all the stickers are three for 10. Okay, I gotta grab the cactus ones for Robin. Glitter red mesh, yes. It's actually an orange, so a glitter orange mesh. Yes, glitter orange mesh. My only one I have, I also have a large orange utensil holder um, that I showed last week. I might bring it out, a couple other fall pieces. I have um, a little fall towel. I have a lot of bins that I'm gonna pull out and show you guys. The mesh is part of the three for 10. And it's quite a bit. It's a lot of product. I think this was a either a five or a seven dollar roll at Michael's. Would you like it, Justine? I gotta grab these for Robin. Yep, the, everything on the table is three for ten right now. For Christmas trees or Halloween wreaths. Okay, the dream catcher stickers. I need to grab the dream catcher stickers for Robin. Give me just a sec, you guys. I might have popped them in the little bin. I do have a few Christmas items too, you guys. Oh, where are your dream catchers, Robin? They're hiding. They're hiding amongst the other stickers. Oh, here we go. Found them. Found them. Okay, so I have these and then the pens for Robin. fall stuff um did I pull any new fall stuff well I'm not sure if you saw these before Justine but um I do have some fall color vintage scarves you and I were talking about vintage scarves and I know I pulled them out one time last year but I feel like I might have found some more when I was going through some things so these are five dollars each um this one i feel like maybe i shared this one with you guys before because it reminds me of gucci costco isn't slow rolling it'll roll roll you over oh wow i've been seeing a lot of christmas stuff in all the stores here in vegas dollar general um not in dollar tree yet um walmart Ikea. So all of these are going to be five and they are, a lot of them to me seem like they're very fall colors. Super vintage tag here, made in Italy. I don't think I ever showed this one. We need Halloween stuff first. I know. Would you guys want me to um, get some Halloween stickers and pens for the store? Let me know if you're craving Halloween stuff. Yeah, I don't feel like I ever showed this one before. It is wrinkled. Then I have this one. This one's um, kind of pretty, Justine. Look at this one. So she's on a swing. Look at her dress. And then look at the background, the castles. She does need to be steamed. This feels kind of silky. She has her... Her eyes closed and her head back. Yeah, 
She's on there, she's on there like three times, three times. This is what it looks like on the underside. I don't think I ever shared this one with you guys. So that one is also five. I always like to throw a little vintage in there where I can. And then we have this one, which is like really perfect. Uh, if you wanna do the cute like headband with the scarf, uh, hanging look hairstyle. This one is the perfect length for, the, for that sort of hairstyle. 100% polyester, hand washable, made in the USA. So those are a few fall color scarves that I have. And then I also have this wallet. It's going for five. It was originally $13.98 at Walmart. New with the tags on it. Let's see. We also have this here. Yes. Some other $5 items. Um, I wanted to bring out some makeup that I have since we're doing $5 items right now. I also have two of these little cuties. So everything right now is $5. I don't currently have any purses. I think I sold all of my purses. I'm still uncovering a lot of stuff though. Um, yeah, you guys. I am always on the lookout for purses. Okay, now these go for $10 at Walmart. The, these are $5 and I have three of them. These are the chunky multi-sticks. Two kind of like goldish colors and one that's like a bright blue from Wet n Wild, limited edition. Jenny says, I'll take the scarf with the wide blue pattern. This one, Jenny, so pretty. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah, I love these colors together. They look so good. My daughter's wearing a shirt that has blue and orange. It's a black shirt with blue and orange. And I was like, those colors look so nice together. Thank you so much, Jenny. Okay. We have lots of new skincare this week, you guys. Lots of new skincare, um, a, a assortment of Freeman items, and a uh, Assortment of some home items, um, lots of new stuff, lots of new stuff. Okay, so let's set this aside for Jenny. Jenny, I have some organization cubes. I have some Ikea bags. I have some Pioneer Woman items um, that I know you didn't get a chance to see last week. We have some really pretty blue plates. I know for spring, I offered you quite a few blue and turquoise and light blue pieces. These are the melamine plates. I have like 30 of these in my collection. We'll look at these a little bit later. Um, unless you just wanna to commit to some right now, those are gonna be part of the three for 10. Um, but yes, I have them all in a really, that really pretty scalloped blue. Okay, on to some other $5 items. We have a Lilac lilac Blossoms Easy Melt cup, cup from Yankee Candle, trying to talk you guys. We have a little um, Avon mirror and you open it up and it's like a little mini ring light, it's still in the package. This was from back when I used to sell Avon. We have it in just a silver, cute little mirror, double-sided mirror. Ah. Well, Joy, say hi to your, your coworkers for me, those that I've met, if any are there that I've met. I know I've met most of your coworkers. They're so sweet there. So yes, you guys, we're looking at just $5 items. Okay, so we have a flower. That's Drew Barrymore's brand. It's called Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. So I have a couple of those. Actually, I have three of those three of those. This is what they look like. Um, it just says Day Glow. I think the color is Day Glow. These are all five each. 
And then we also have, I think I have four of these in the same color. Bronze Envy. Yes, Bronze Envy. I have four flower mix and matte lip duo. So it's a matte lipstick and a pearlized gloss. Yes, a lipstick and a pearlized gloss. I think it's double-sided, but I didn't try one for myself yet. I just bought them and set them aside for the store. Looks like I have another Cookie Monster. So I have four Cookie Monsters. These would be really fun for Christmas. Joy, look down in my description box. I think I have my brand new P.O. box down in the description box. Uh, P.O. box 464, I believe. Las Vegas, Nevada, 89140. I don't know. I'm, I'm going off of memory, you guys. I believe that's my new P.O. box. But if I'm wrong, just, just see what I put down in the description box. Yes, I've actually had that for mm, like almost probably a month now, probably a month. I also have these, you guys. These have an SPF 30. This is by the Lip Smacker brand. It's in Grapefruit. Kiss Therapy Sunscreen SPF 30 Lip Balm, just in Grapefruit. I have three or four of these, let's see. Yep, three of them, three of those. Oh, Gator's doing good. He's doing really well. He's just getting so tall. He is so tall. He is loving his new room. We're still waiting on his mattress from Ikea. We've been waiting for weeks for his new mattress. Tanisha says, Lip Smackers brings me back to my teen memories since high school. Oh my gosh, I love, I love Lip Smackers for the same reason. We have this lipstick in color 410, which is called um, Wild, what does it say? I don't know, you guys. It's bright, it's a bright, what does that say, you guys? <laughs> Wild Lily, maybe? Yes, the store manager, yes. Mm -hmm. I remember her, is she there? She's so sweet. I also have color 465. 465. These are for the pink lovers. These are bright pink and just stunning, uh, super stunning. This would be pretty like with your makeup or on top of a vanity. I just think it looks very stunning, very rich. This is by L'Oreal. These are also by L'Oreal. Super pretty for the pink lovers. And then I have this little one with the peach on it. Uh, the brand is Sweet, what does it say? Um, Beauty Intuition Sweet Peach Shimmer Lip Gloss. I have one of these. So that's a peek at some of the makeup I have. Everything that I just put on the desk is $5 each. So if you guys see something you'd like me to set aside for you, let me know, because I'm loading it all back up. Okay. I'm looking down, deciding what we should uh, look at next. I think we're gonna look at some Derma Geek next. Yes, you guys, I have some Derma Geek skincare. It's supposed to be like one of those clean brands where there aren't any like bad chemicals in it or any bad ingredients. And I believe have one, two, three, I think I have six of the facial cleansers. Please let me know in the chat, you guys, if there are things that you guys have on your wish list, if there's things that you guys are currently looking for or collecting or using in your crafts, please let me know. Um, I'd love to keep an eye out for some of those things for you guys. Or if there's things you're looking for for, uh, for the holidays, please let me know. You know what? Speaking of the holidays, I did pull out just a little bit of Christmas stuff. Just a little bit. Yes, Joy, I do remember her. 
Last year, I ordered a lot of Christmas pens, and I feel like they were really, really popular. Just want to give you guys, <laughs> Justine says, anything pink? Oh, she's moving to another job, and her last day is tomorrow. Please tell her I said hi, and tell her I said I wish her the best, and tell her thank you for me because she was always so awesome about me filming and she was always so sweet to me. Please, please say hi to her and tell her I wish her the best. She was just so nice to me all the time. I really appreciate that. You guys, this is a look at some of my Christmas pens that I have. These are also the fine pens. Um, again, five for five. Basically, they're just a dollar each. Super cute. Santa, trees, um, what else? Little reindeer. It would be so cute if we had some gingerbread men. A variety of Christmas trees. So these are also five for five. And then I was looking for my fall stamps. You guys, I really was. You guys are like, but what about fall? I was looking for my fall stamps and I didn't find them yet because I think I have a whole a second tote full of wooden stamps. But you guys know most of my stamps are vintage. Now, some of these are from Michaels. They're not vintage, but um, the majority of my stamps have never been used. But a lot of my other stamps that I have are vintage and some of them are brand new. Like, let's see if this one was ever used. It looks like this one was used, um, the Christmas tree. Tonight, let's do, um, I wanna get you guys in the spirit and I didn't bring out many, but I would like to do three for $10 wooden stamps. First come, first serve. We have, oh come let us adore him over here. Happy holidays, a couple winter birds, probably some cardinals. We have happy holidays again, some cute elves. We have a little gingerbread man. And then I also pulled out this one. Uh, thank you so much, Joy. We have, oh, we have a, we do have a give thanks right here. And a happy, and a little happy Thanksgiving, the little ones that you like, Justine, the little cutie ones. We have an angel, we have um, a little, I was going to say a woodcracker. That's not what they're called. Um, what are these called, you guys? Help me out. Are, wood I was going to say woodcracker. That's not what they're called. Woodcracker? <laughs> Tell me in the chat, you guys, please help me. We have some candles, a nutcracker, <laughs> a wood, a woodcracker. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I called it a woodcracker. What the hell is a woodcracker? <laughs> One bundle of pens with a gnome and a tree if possible. Thank you, Justine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got it, a woodcracker. You got it, Justine, a gnome and a tree. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Three other Christmas pens. Wow. You got it, honey. They're made of wood. I know, Wood. a woodcracker. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yep. And then look at these, you guys. These ones are, um, this is a snowflake uh, made in Tucson, Arizona. Definitely vintage. You could tell by the packaging. Originally $5.99. Um, this is also part of the three for 10. I know. Perfect Storm. Hi, Perfect Storm. Look at this little one. This one's cute. This one feels very 90s to me. Um, I'm not sure of the year of these, but it's brand new in the package. And then we even have this little cutie one, this little cutie one with the holly. Really, really like it. This says peace, uh, two candelabras. Um, this one says what? This one says, mm, do not open. Oh, do not open till Christmas. Do not open till Christmas. Perfect Storm, my husband and I love that movie. We love that movie. A um, little bit of trivia. That is the movie, uh, the last full movie I watched uh, 
when I was in labor with Jaya. So for each of our kids, we had a movie that I watched during my labor. Um, with my oldest son, it was the movie Life. With Jaya, it was The Perfect Storm. And with Gator, it was Donnie Brasco. All movies that I love that will always be special and will always kind of be their quote unquote movie. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think, have they even watched, okay, they've seen Life. Have they watched The Perfect Storm? Mm, maybe some of it. Have they watched Donnie Brasco? I don't even think my kids have watched Donnie Brasco. I love Donnie Brasco. I really love, um, I like true stories. I really do like, um, like mob movies um, as well. So like your Godfathers, your Donnie Brasco's, your just a lot of those stories like that. Love them. No, but I made her a um, something. What does that say? We will miss her. Oh, and a few balloons too. I think the words got a little jumbled up. You you put together a gift for her, Joy. That's so sweet. Uh, you'll be giving a short announcement over the speaker. Aww. That's so sweet, Joy. Jess says, oh, I thought she said Donnie Darko at first. <laughs> Myra's here. Hey, Myra. Okay, you guys. So if anyone wants any wooden stamps, they're three for 10 tonight. Three for 10 for the stamps. I just pulled out these two, um, two little ones there. Okay, and then Justine, I'm not going to let you know which ones I picked for you because it's going to be a surprise. So I'm just going to set them over here in the bin. You guys, I also have socks. Um, Jenny, I showed a bunch of new socks last week. Hopefully you're still here with us. You know what? I don't have a whole bunch right now, but I do want to show you guys the candy that I have. I just have a little selection. I'm going to do some major candy shopping, but I wanted to talk to you guys and see what sort of candy you guys are maybe in the mood for. I was looking at some cotton candy the other day, um, but I know I have... Um, you guys have your favorites, so I'm just going to show you what I have. It's not a huge amount right now, but I'm going to go do a massive candy shop. We're so glad you're here, Myra. If you guys see anything on the desk that you would like, Jenny says yes. If you guys see anything that you'd like, please let me know. Or anything that you want me to pick up for you, please let me know. Yes. Yeah, Jenny says yes to cotton candy, and I don't have any in stock right now, but I would, um, I was looking at um, cotton candy. Also, if anyone's interested in various Mexican candy, or if you have any particular ones in mind, please let me know. I have access to everything here in Las Vegas, you guys. I went from having access to very little where I live to now having access to everything. I had access to so many Mexican markets, so many Asian markets. Um, we're gonna get an H Mart here pretty soon, which will be any and all type of Asian foods and candies. I have access to very beautiful Mexican markets here Justine says, yes, Mexican candy. Okay, Justine, well, email me if there's anything in particular that you're looking for. If you like Lucas, if you like um, just whatever you have in mind that you like. I have some favorites myself as well um, that I really love. But please let me know what I can pick up for you guys. So this is all I'm offering right now. I just kind of wanted to open the topic of candy these are two for fives. Um, there are a lot of um, really amazing Asian candies that I have access to as well, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep um, all of my candies at the two for fives because some of them are, I mean, I wouldn't even break even on some of them. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring you guys um, the majority of the candies at two for five. So, you know, I'll, I'll do my best getting affordable candy for you guys. But if you guys saw anything here that you wanted, 
please let me know. Everything I just showed is available. And um, I will be doing a lot more candy shopping, including chocolate. I know we did a lot of Reese's cups last year. And I thoroughly enjoyed buying those for you guys and acquiring those for you guys. That was a lot of fun. Um, and I love them personally. I love them. Okay, you guys, last week um, I picked these up for you guys. I have multiples of these, and these are going to be $10 each. I have the 21 count of Sharpies, really, really pretty colors. I do have quite a few of these. Those are $10 each. And then I also have um, multiples of these. These are also $10 each. This is the 13 ounce deep cleansing powder to clay mask. This is the bentonite and kaolin, normal to combo skin, instant detox for face and body, 100% natural. This is comparable. This is a dupe to the, I think they call it Indian Aztec um, clay mask that you also buy in powder form. So you basically mix it up yourself. Birdie loves this. She loves this for, um, body, face, and hair. Sometimes she mixes it with apple cider vinegar and does a mask. So both of these items are $10 each and I do have multiples of each. And then I also have, I had to bring out this little cutie. This is also available for 10 and it's glow in the dark. It's Claire's, a gummy bear necklace and gummy bear earrings. Again, glow in the dark. We have lilac, pink, aqua, and sort of a yellowish, um, a yellow, it's kind of a yellow, not really a yellowish green, but some of the glitter makes it, or the iridescent makes it be a little bit like, kind of like a greenish yellow. I can't get anything right now. I'm wondering if you had some fun cookbooks or Disney or anime coffee mugs. Thank you for your request, Joy. Um, I, do I have any cookbooks right now? I don't have any cookbooks. The only Disney that I have is, and again, you guys, this was originally $9.88 at Walmart, and I'm just asking $10 for it. Um, I still have some of those blue plushy Disney, um, Mickey, Daffy, Pluto, and um, what's the other one, you guys? Pluto and Goofy. Do you guys remember the blue ones that I had? The little plushies? I do have some of those available, and I feel like there was something else that I said, oh, I, don't ha I didn't have any more Disney, and then I pulled it out. But I can't remember what it is at the moment. Um, I may have some anime, I do have some anime stickers somewhere in my collection, but I don't have them pulled out for this week. All right, you guys, so if anyone would like one of these or the Sharpies, please let me know. I do have multiple Sharpies. These would be amazing Christmas gifts. These are fine. Okay. So three for $10 items. You guys, let's hop into the three for $10 items. Yellow Kitty, Hello Kitty and My Melody. Hello Kitty and My Melody. I do have some Hello Kitty and My Melody stickers. So you guys, I have multiples of the Pioneer Woman plates. Multiples of the Pioneer Woman plates. Only in Juliet. Um, Juliet's the style, and I believe the color is cobalt blue. So these are part of the three for 10. This is three for 10. Clean on one side, dirty on the other. This actually was on my little windowsill in my last house. Oh my gosh, my Melody coffee mug would be cute. B and Joy, I have access to so many cute things because I have a Daiso. I have a Daiso I can go to. I also have multiples of these, you guys. These are from Ikea. The 10-piece Bavara bag clips, chip clips sort of a greenish blue, red and white, perfect for Christmas. My Melody is so cute, she is. There's so much My, uh, My Melody, Sanrio and 
Rilakkuma um, items at Daiso, all very cute. I have multiples of these, you guys. I believe I have six or eight of these packs. Everything I'm showing you guys is three for 10. Also, um, I do have this one fall towel that says wild and free. One towel only, also part of the three for 10. I also have this little um, cactus tin, super cute part of the three for 10. And if anyone needs a new Pioneer Woman brush, cleaning brush, I have red. I have navy. These are also part of the three for 10. And I have this color here. I've been loving mine. I feel like, I feel like they're super long lasting and you get a lot of bristles like it's a nice big brush uh, much better than the dollar tree brushes in my opinion the dollar tree brushes aren't that bad but these bristles they don't really get worn down as quickly so those are also three for ten i haven't opened up my big stash of candles yet you guys and i do have some uh, new candles that are yankee candles you guys so if anyone wants dibs on Yankee Candles, let me know. They're definitely not gonna be three for 10. They're the $21.99 um, variety of candles. I got them at Walgreens, so I'm probably gonna have them right at like $20, but I have multiple scents, including some Christmas ones. Oh no! Jenny says, I lost internet for a few minutes. I'll take the bags of Jello candy and a chip clip set. Thank you so much, Jenny. The Jello candies. I think I have. I think I have three of those, Jenny. Three or four. Do you just want all the Jello ones that I have? I know it's definitely three, maybe four. And chip clips. Thank you, Jenny. I do have a few of these handy. These candles are part of the three for 10 and these came uh, originally, I don't know what happened on the bottom of that one with the sticker. Th that one originally came from Target as well as this one. This is the sugared passion fruit. These are single wick candles. They smell really pretty and girly. I also have coconut colada. I have a lot more of these tin candles. Now that it's starting to cool down a little bit, um, I have to think about my own location when I when it comes to like candles and chocolate. It's starting to cool down a little bit, you guys. So here pretty soon I'm gonna be shipping candles, chocolate, and I think everything's gonna be fine. And I think in the rest of the country, it's little by little cooling down. You know, some of the hotter places, it's cooling down a little bit, a little bit, you know? Aw, you are joy. I know you are. You're gonna you're gonna do fine though. You're gonna do fine. You just have to be happy for her and know that she'll come in and see you. She'll come in and see you. Yes, you guys, so all these are three for 10. In case you missed, Jenny, all of these are three for 10. The Pioneer, Pioneer Woman scrub brushes, the uh, single wild and free towel, fall towel that I have, the chip clips, let's set that aside for Jenny, the clean and dirty. That's okay, Joy, we're holding off on the candles a little bit, so hopefully, hopefully the timing will be right for you. Would anyone like any of the plates at three for 10? They're really nice, heavy quality. They're the Melamine. They're super, super nice. All Pioneer Woman with the little speckles in cobalt blue. This is a dinner plate. And I have, I think I have 30 dinner plates. Has the pretty little design. Okay, let me set these aside for you, Jenny. I have a couple 
couple kitchen items. I might pull these out. Thinking about you, Jenny, because I know you redid your kitchen. I offered this set last week. Uh-oh. I offered this set last week. It's a vintage set. Let me pick up this little thing that I knocked down, guys. I have some more dollar items coming up for you guys here real soon. So we have this vintage set. I don't have any of the lids, but I have this vintage set of Corningware for 50. We have the 22 ounce P43B. We have the P1.5B. The, what is this one? 1AB. And we have, lastly, the A, B, is it A, B, B? I think it's A, B, B set. This one's a little bit dirty, but it's not stained. It's just, you know, it was just, it was in my basement, you guys. It was in my basement in a bag. And I was moving, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this. I don't believe any of them have any chips or anything like that. They're all in really, really great condition. $50 for the set, definitely vintage, hard to find. You get all four of them. So that is something I showed last week. I just wanted to pull out, in case you're interested, Jenny, or anyone else watching that might be interested. I also have this little vintage candy dish for $5. It's a little heart and the edges remind me of ribbon candy. It also needs to be washed. I got this at a thrift store about a year ago. This is $5, kind of in a heart shape. I like how that feels. That's five bucks. We have this little vintage heart. This is ten dollars. Has the little feet. Little pink rose. So this is five. This is ten. You guys know I love hearts. I like showing some of the kitchen things from time to time. This is five, very heavy, distressed seashell and cream. It came distressed from Michael's. This is five. Hmm, what do I have in here? Let's see. Oh, the little uh, eggs. The little um, marble eggs. Let's do three for 10. I have two stands for these. Um, I don't have three, but I have two little stands that these come with. Let's do the whole set for $10. I think these go for $10 and up each on eBay. Last time I checked. We also have this set of little, they might be tea light holders and this might be pewter. I'm not sure though, you guys. I'm not positive. This is the brand. Let's do $5 for this set. We're kind of 
doing a bunch of hearts, aren't we? And then let's do $5 also for this. This is a Mario Batali um, holder for everything like spatulas. Let's do $5 on that also. Thank you, Jenny. The candy dish for Jenny. Candy dish. All right. Thank you, Jenny. I also have some Pioneer Woman towels. Um, I'm just going to pull one of them out for now. Oh, Holly. Hi, Holly. I think I met Holly. Didn't I meet Holly that last day I filmed there, Joy? Holly, the crafter, right? The painter. What have you been making lately, Holly? Thanks again, Jenny. I'll wrap this with, with lots of love and get it to you safe. Okay. Painting, pouring, and stacking pumpkins. Aw. Holly, you always sounds like sound like you're having a lot of fun with your crafts. That's one thing I love about all the makers, all the makers in the world. Everyone's like super enthused, having fun. Um, you know, we get excited when we talk about what we're passionate about, and I love hearing that. Just love it. You guys, these are brand new as of last week, and these are $5 each from the Pioneer Woman. It says Sweet Life. A Delaney linen yard flag. Delaney linen yard flag. 13 inches by 19 inches. They're all the same. This is what it looks like with the flowers. The rooster, the pig. The stitching is really cute. Always, she says. Yes. It's double-sided. And I do have multiples of these. Care instructions are hand wash separately in cold water. So these are $5 each. The Pioneer Woman. These are three for 10, you guys. These are brand new. Um, I thought of you, Jenny, when I saw these um, because I know you have purchased some of these before. And I really like this one because it is white and black with the pinstripes on the front. The rest of the cube is black. And this is the large size. It's the heavier weight. And I think I have, how many? One, two, three, four. I have eight of these. Eight of these available, and this is part of the three for 10. If anyone wants any organizing cubes, it has the little handle here. Also part of the three for 10 are some Ikea bags. And I'm gonna have regular access to getting these for you guys. These are the jumbo Ikea bags. They're humongous absolutely humongous they are really really big this is um a massive bag 55 by 37 by 35 very massive long lasting bag i've had some in my collection for years and years you guys um 10 15 years i've been using the same ikea bags this is like the only bag, when you buy some of these, these will last you the rest of your life in most cases. We've put some very heavy things in these and they just, they just last forever. Also, you guys at Ikea, they even have the bucket hats. Have you guys seen those? I think they're like $7, Gator wants one. He's like, I want one for Christmas. I want a, I want a bucket hat and it's made out of this material and then the band has this. 
Terilyn says, I'll take the three for 10 eggs with the stands. I'll also take the Mario Batali orange crock for five. Aw, oh, thank you, Terilyn. Those are yours, three for $10 eggs and the Mario crock. Yes, thank you, Terilyn. Congrats, Terilyn. Okay, let me see. Let me grab them. Did I set them back here? I did. I also have a countertop compost bin uh, that I showed last week for the first time. I think I want to pull it out because Terilyn, I I think you might have um, you might have left at that point, and I know Jenny didn't see it either. The box is not in the best shape, but it's brand new. It also comes with the charcoal inserts, and it comes with a roll of compostable bags. So I'm just gonna show you guys that really quick here. Jenny, sa Jenny says, I'll take four bins and two bags. Thank you, Jenny. Four bins, four bins, and two bags. Thank you so much, Jenny set to a side for you and I have so that means you guys I have four um I have four bins left and one two three four five bags Bloxy cat hi Bloxy cat welcome 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 We have socks to look at. We still, we still have lots of skincare. We have lots of skincare, actually, you guys. Oh, I want to show you guys the towel really quick. I want to show you guys the Pioneer Woman towels that I have. They are different than the ones I offered before. I'm just going to pull out one, but I believe I have six of these towels. Okay, so... Here are the towels. I believe this is the third variety I sold um, here at the store. This is the dotted stripe bath towel. It's a 27 inch by 52 inches. It's a very big towel. It's a nice size to wrap around your body. It's kind of long and it's really nice to do the little towel tuck. So this is what it looks on one side. You guys know I had to grab them because I love pink and blue. And then this is what it looks like on the underside. Really nice. So that will be the part that's up against your body. And we have the fringe here. Or if you want to flip it around and have the squares be up against your body. But yeah, it's, I like that it's double-sided. If you want to hang it up and have it as a decoration, um, you could pick either side that you want. And these are $10 each. This is a really nice quality towel. Are you leaving, Joy? I love you, Joy. <laughs> Good night, Joy. Thanks for being here. Time to take a drink of water, you guys. I have my half a gallon. I have to call it a night. I have physical therapy first thing in the morning, 9 a.m. Oh, you're leaving, Terry. Love you, Terry. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for purchasing the marble eggs and the Mario Batali crock. I hope you love them. Let me know if you end up coming back and watching any other part of the, the live, if there's anything else you want to add. Yes, love you guys so much. Okay, guys, so again, I have the beautiful towels. They're $10 each. Um, I'm pretty sure I have six of them. Let's get to, oops, let's get to some, let's do some dollar items. All right. Okay, I have some dollar pitcher magnets for the refrigerator which is something I had for years and years on my previous, oh, and I'm gonna show you guys the compost bin too, if anyone wants to see it. Um, I have a bunch of these. They're the little um, pitcher magnets. 
Bloxy Cat, she's doing good. Thank you for being here. Are you one of her subscribers? Hopefully you're one of my subscribers too now. I have these little cute, um, they're plastic. They hold pictures or whatever you wanna put in them and they have the magnet on the back. So they'd be good for home, good for the office. Let's see, I have four, five. These are gonna be a dollar each. Six, seven, eight, nine, they're all the same, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 of those. And you just slide the picture in or slide the object in. And they last a really long time. Those are a dollar each. I also have some super cute banana split poppers. These are little fidget toys. And you just push the little, um, you push the little beads out. Those are also a dollar. Super cute. I think I have five, no, five or six of those. Everything I'm showing right now is a dollar. The towel isn't underneath, but the little magnet. Picture holders are a dollar. The banana poppers are a dollar. I have three of these. Um, I have a little sticky sheet in the letter A. I have a sticky sheet in the letter P and a sticky note. It's like a little notepad, you know, like bundle of the letter F. Wendy's here. Hey, Wendy. Wendy says, hi. Hi, everybody from Youngstown, Ohio. Hi to all my viewers in Ohio watching. Glad you're here. Are you leaving, Tanisha? Good night, Tanisha. Thanks for being here, honey. Love you, honey. Justine says, a sticker sheet, please. A, you mean, a, um, Justine, a magnet? You want one of these little um, magnet, like picture holders? Letter A. Oh, okay. <laughs> Letter A for Justine. Thank you, Justine. Letter A for a dollar. Letter A is yours. Thank you, Justine. Okay, also for a dollar, you guys, it's going to take me, that's okay, honey. It's going to take me just a second, but I have some scented um, scratch stickers. That's what it says. It says scented scratch stickers. Now I have a variety of these. These are also a uh, dollar each. We have World Changer. We have Be Fierce. And I'm going to have a lot of these. These are a dollar each. They're Scratch and Sniff. The Future is Me. We have Girls Support Girls. We have Girls Can. Girls Can. Oh, thank you, Robin. They're all yours, Robin. Thank you so much. Girl Power. Yes, 13 of them. They're all yours, Robin. Magnet picture holders. Thank you so much, Robin. I wrote something else down here for you, Robin. I wonder if I put it in the bin already. I wrote, so the Cactus and Dreamcatcher stickers, the pastel cat pens, the magnetic picture holders, and there was something else that you wanted that was, I thought, I wrote down $10. Do you remember what else it was, Robin? I think there was something else you wanted that was 10, unless I just wrote it down in the wrong place. The clear stamps. Yep, I got those. The clear, oh, the clear stamps. Yes, the stamps, okay. Thanks, Robin, three of them. And I do have those in the bin already. We also have Girls With Goals and we have Hey Girl. Again, these are all um, scratch and sniff. Now I have some cat ones, you guys. Okay, so these are just single uh, stickers. 
Oh my gosh, these smell so good. Now, so these all smell like, let's see, those all smell like strawberry. Now these ones all smell like chocolate. Caramel Mucchiato. We have Mucha <laughs> Latte. We have Mucaroons. Aren't these cute, you guys? These all smell like chocolate. We have Order Up. It's been a rainy day in Ohio. Look at this one. Do you see the kitty? Kitty's cute, right? We have, oh my gosh, Justine, look. Peppermint Mocha. Oh, look at this little boba one. Little boba one and cappuccino. So those are all available also at a dollar each. I'm gonna slide them back in here so they can stay smelling like chocolate. You guys see anything that you'd like, let me know. I'm gonna put them in the little pouch. Fluffy cotton candy. Okay, these ones are gonna be cotton candy scented. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready? Life is sweet. Oh my gosh, this one is so cute. Look at this one, the little dog, the bunny. Sweet dreams, these are adorable. Sweet dreams. Oh, Ash, Ash would like this one. The flamingo, the little narwhal, cotton candy cutie. These have a nice, like, nice quality feel to them. And we have magical. Should I show you guys more or, or are you guys not really interested in those? Because I do have some berry scented ones, some, nar uh, some donut scented ones that are narwhal, some coconut scented sloth ones, some tropical pineapple scented ones, and some peach scented puppy ones. And they're all really cute. They're all the same vibe as these. These are definitely brand new. Just had to bring those out. Okay, you guys, we're gonna go on to some other stuff. You'll take the Peppermint Mocha Cat sticker. Aw, thank you, Justine. Peppermint Mocha Cat sticker. Mocha Cat sticker. Well, maybe we'll go back to looking at some of those. We'll kind of... I won't, to those of you that aren't into stickers, I'll keep it moving. But you guys, I also have tons of scrunchies for um, five for five, which makes a dollar each. Let me set these aside for Robin. Okay. And again, the banana poppers are a dollar each. They would be really cute stocking stuffers or little like birthday gift bag fillers. Okay. Oh, you guys haven't said hi to the one and only mwah, Mr. Kissy Man Oscar. Mwah, Oscar, you've been missing everyone? You have? Oh, give everyone a kiss. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mm, 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 mm. Oscar, you're being a toddler right now. Mm, 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 mm. Just Oscar, do you think they want all those kisses? Do they need your kisses? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, let me give you a kiss. You feel better now? They needed some love. Oh, you're so sweet, Oscar. Mm, come here. Oh, you love everyone. <laughs> oh, Oscar, you're so cute. Robin says, we were 105 here in Arizona. Wow, 105 today? I don't know what it was here in Vegas today. 
I feel like we're gonna get some days where it's gonna cool off here a little bit. I haven't even been outside today, but to be honest, it's been feeling really amazing here lately. Um, starting to little by little cool down a little bit. What do you guys think of all these purples? Aren't they pretty? Purples, I have the fuzzy ones. These are a dollar each, you guys, five for five. Um, we have some browns, some nice fall colors. If anyone wants to do a bundle, these make good birthday gifts, stocking stuffers. We have some yellows, some reds, greens. Yes, some tans, some white, some creams. We have gray. So Justine, when does it like truly start cooling down? Because I, I have a feeling that we'll probably have pretty similar weather. What do you think, Justine? Does Vegas and um, where you live in California have similar temperatures? Does it follow the same like trend, the same like path? Debbie says, cooling off here in Long Island. Ooh. I mean, like I, I want to be able to um, open the windows. Like there's been a couple nights where I opened the windows and it felt so good. Like it was much cooler outside than in the house. Oh, Jenny gave a kiss back. <laughs> Justine says, late October, early November. Okay, so we still got a little, a little time. Yeah, you guys got some oranges up in here, some oranges, some browns. And I have some, let's dump these in, you guys. Again, my scrunchies, we're sticking with a dollar each. Some of these, the material is like really nice. We have plaid, quite a few plaids, some pastel plaids, a couple furry ones, strawberries, more plaid. The plaid material is like really nice. Let's see if I can push them down so you guys can see them a little better. A couple peaches. Citrus. And some of these are, um, there's a few in here that are actually from Walmart. So I have a variety of brands in here. The furry. I have some Shein's in here. I have some Walmart's in here. But yeah, you guys, if you see anything that you like or if you want a surprise bundle, please let me know. I'll put together a bundle for you. You can do um, I'd love for you to do bundles of five and up, but if you do want to go last, that's okay too. Diane says, it's going to be 80 in Minneapolis this weekend. The leaves are just starting to change. Aww. I'm not going to see much of that out here this year, Diane. Okay. Oh, let's look at some of this, um, let's look at some of this skincare, you guys before everyone goes to bed. Hey, Jeffrey, are you, are you saying good night, hello, or good night, goodbye? <laughs> these items are gonna be $10 each, you guys. I have these um, cheese knives. I did feature them last week. They're really nice. I believe they go for $14.97 at Aldi, if I'm remembering right. I have this set, offering it for 10. These are very, Heavy, very thick, very heavy, very durable. Crofton makes some really nice products. So those are $10 each. And then this one is super cute um, in the pastel colors. It's like really, really pretty. Purple, blue, and pink. Also by Crofton. So these are both $10 each. Would make a cute like housewarming gift if you know anyone that's recently moved. I also have this uh, one pack of Real Techniques brushes. Jenny says 63 in the Seattle area tomorrow, fall hit. Oh, that sounds refreshing, Jenny, 63. Oh, that sounds perfect, doesn't it, you guys? The 60s is, is a really nice temperature, like low 60s, low 70s. So this is 10, you guys, $24 value. The brand is Real Techniques. Now, I haven't showed you guys these yet. These are the Dermageek 
gentle facial cleansers. I have one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. Oh, Jenny says, I'll take a bundle of blues and purples. Thank you, Jenny. Would you like a total of five or would you like uh, a total of 10? This is a $10 um, item also, you guys. Zero, zero added, fragrance free, sulfate free, zero SLS or SLES, dermatologist tested. This, as well as another brand I'm gonna show you guys, is considered to be a clean product. Gentle Facial Cleanser is a pH balance formula that removes daily impurities without excess drying, leaving skin feeling soft and refreshed. I'm gonna tell you guys, I have been using, I haven't been using the cleanser, but I've been using a Derma Geek night cream and I love it and my skin is very sensitive and I've really been liking it. Oh, Jenny says, my computer, ah, Jenny says, my computer is crazy. I want a bundle of scrunchies and blues and purples. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, I'll, I'll assume you want a, a bundle of five, unless you tell me otherwise. Thank you so much, Jenny. Blues and purples. But if, if I'm wrong, Jenny, correct me and tell me I want a bundle of blue and I want a bundle of purple. But I'd be happy to do a $5 bundle for you if that's what you'd like. Thank you so much, honey. So these are $10 each, you guys. Again, I have multiples. I also have a one of one chill out calming treatment mist, 3.4 ounces for 10. This is five ounces, by the way, you guys. And also for 10, I have this Earth Therapeutics. Thank you, Jenny. Thanks for clarifying. I have a, an Earth Therapeutics Soft Plush Anti-Stress Microwavable Sinus Pillow for the hot and cold relief of tension and stress. So you can do warm on the forehead or cool on the eyes. It's a pretty heavy set. Also $10. So those are some $10 items if anyone would like any. I do have more skincare coming up. I have some $5 skincare coming up. A variety of Freeman masks and some toners for $5 each. So glad you guys are all here tonight. Hopefully, little by little, all of my regulars will come back. Hopefully, you guys like the, the time. Is my time working okay for you guys? I was thinking, wait a minute. It's pretty much exactly the same, but is that true? Let's see. I used to go live at 8, which would be 6. Yeah, I think I'm going live at like the exact same time. Okay, you guys, let's take a peek at some $5 items. And some item, a couple items I've thrown in here, well, namely this one I asked more for in the past. This tomato lid cover is going for $5, and I feel like I checked it before and it was like 20 something dollars. This is the Charles V. Anson tomato lid. Seals tightly on all smooth rim containers. It's a eight inch, which is a 20 centimeter. And you could put it on the bowl and it's a nice little bowl cover. So that is going for five. Got a couple fuzzies on it. A little staticky. Also for five, Justine says time is great. Thanks Justine for your feedback. I have Silly Scents, Sweet Scents, washable markers, two 10 packs. And here are the scents. Watermelon, cotton candy, strawberry, pineapple, blueberry, root beer, marshmallow, fresh air, mint, and peach. So these are all $5 items. We have the Bedhead Tiki, totally beachin', mellow after sun conditioner. This is 2.54 ounces. Jenny says the pillow, please. Thanks, Jenny. The pillow is yours. Let me, let me pull the pillow for you. I 
feel like I need to say a, a series of other P words now, you know? How many pep, how many pickled peppers? What is it, you guys? <laughs> Lucky, I'm still here, Lucky. Hi, Lucky, welcome back, Lucky. Everyone say hi to Lucky. I'll tell Jaya that you're here, Lucky. Jaya's just coming home. Got some $5 items. Hey, Jai, Lucky's on my live. Hey, Jai. <laughs> I don't think she heard me. These are also $5. The Nordic Birch Toner Pore Minimizer Shine Control. Freeman, um, 6.1 ounces. I have three of those. These are all $5 items. Jenny, thank you so much for adding the eye pillow. Let me write that down. Okay, so other items that are $5. Okay, I have one of the Purifying Platinum Cosmic Metallic Mask. We have a Soothing Rose Gold. These are $5 each. These are all peel off masks. I have multiples of the Hydrating Cactus and Cloudberry. I have three of those. I have one of the Japanese matcha cream mask. We have how many of these? I think I have three of these. This is the watermelon and aloe. Oh, Oliver has the markers. Amy, hi, Amy. The Crayola Silly Scent markers. Yes, I love scented stuff. I have multiples of the, and Jai and I used to use these a lot. The clay mask and scrub. This one won an award back in like, I don't know, 2019 or something like that. The cleansing apple cider vinegar clay mask and scrub. So you can put it on as a mask and then you could add a little water and use it as a scrub. I have multiples of this one. And then lastly, I also have multiples of the mint and lemon, the mint and lemon oil absorbing clay mask. No harsh chemicals. Yes. So if you guys are looking for my newest, newest Freeman mask that I'm offering, it's definitely this mint and lemon. I have four of these, four of these and it's a purifier. Four, I think, of the watermelon, three of the cloudberry, um, one of the pink. If you guys see one that you want, please let me know. One of the platinum and one of the matcha and three of the Nordic birch toners. Again, everything Freeman is $5. The Tiggy is also $5. The Silly Sense are 5 and the Charles Vianson tomato lid is also five. So let me know what I could set aside for you. If you guys are watching on playback, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for fast forwarding through the video and finding things that you'd like. You guys can contact me at any time. Email me, DM me on IG at Bunny Birdie Gator. Justine says, do I have any of the pink vanilla hand soap? Justine, I, mm, I'm not sure if I do. I feel like I might have it packed in my couponing stockpile bins. My husband put together two of my massive stockpiling bin shelves, um, but I haven't unloaded barely anything. I've only unloaded like a couple Mrs. Meyers soaps, a couple Suave grapefruit soaps, and, and well, more than a couple, multiple Bath and Body Works soaps. But I know the one you want. You're looking for the Pink Vanilla Wish. I love that one. So if I if I locate those, um, I'll definitely share some with you because I really love those too. I think it smells so pretty and so expensive. I was using one right before I moved and I just like fell in love with it. It's really good. By the way, if you guys are listening uh, in on Justine in our conversation, the Pink Vanilla Wish um, hand soap smells so amazing. It's from Bodycology. It's sold in Walmart, but sometimes we can find them in Dollar Tree. 
Oh, Lucky says, okay, I'm going to go to sleep now. See y'all next stream. Love you, Lucky. Thank you for being here and not only supporting Jaya, but supporting me too. That means so, so much to me. You're welcome anytime. Um, prior to my move, I posted videos every single day and went live about twice a week. So as I get more settled in, I am going to be posting a lot more content. So Lucky, please come back. Anytime, you're more than welcome. And I hope you have a good night, Lucky. Okay, you guys, so if anyone wants any skincare, let me know. Let's look at some socks. Let's look at some socks. These are all going to be three for ten. Bye. I love the Caprettas. Aw, thank you, Lucky. <laughs> okay, you guys, three for ten dollar socks. I tried to pull some fuzzy ones um, that I didn't show last week. These have hearts on them. You guys know I love hearts. So, of course, I have to buy you guys hearts. Aw, uh, thank you, Lucky. I think Jess has some of these. These little fleecy ones. I was like, okay, the weather's cooling down a little bit. So, let's get some of the fleecies out. I have a lot of the cute um, little mismatched socks also that I'm probably going to be pulling out. Um, but these ones I didn't pull out last week. So, if you guys see any socks that you like... Um, these are my three for $10 socks. Some of you may recognize these from last winter because I was giving a lot of socks as free gifts during the Christmas season, which I plan to do again. You guys, if you are a super regular shopping with me, um, I love giving free gifts. I really love to give free gifts with every single package, but it, um, it just depends on what I have access to. And now that I'm starting to get settled in, I am gonna be doing free gift shopping. So I'm hoping to get my stash up really nice for the holidays so that you guys can get cute little free gift bags with every package. Like right now, I have some little cute um, trick-or-treat bags that I think these are Wilton. Wilton um, trick-or-treat bags um, that I would like to um, start putting gifts in and including with packages, especially bigger orders. But yeah, you guys, I love putting together a little cute stuff for you guys. Um, okay, so all of these are gonna be three for 10. I did show some of these um, men's. To me, they're unisex though, but we have Donkey Kong socks. These are um, shoe sizes six and a half to 12. These are crew socks. We have the Donkey Kong. Um, some of these are super cute, Jenny. Some of these um, that I showed last week are candy themed and sweets themed. We have the Swedish Fish. We have Cup of Noodles. We have Sour Patch Kids. These ones are individually packaged. These are the Nickelodeon Rugrats socks. Super cute. I think these were originally like probably $7 or more. This says sizes 10 to 13. Okay, here we go. We have some Twinkie socks. We have some Pez, bright orange, cute for Halloween. We have some Apple Jacks. Drop your cutest fall emojis, you guys, in the chat. Show me your cutest fall emoji. G give me a little uh, a little spread. You guys, give me a little fall emoji spread. Cat, Bloxy Cat, change my name, and PFP. Oh, well, hi, Cat. <laughs> we love cats here. I even had some cute cat pens that I was showing at the beginning of the stream. They're a dollar each or five for five. I have lots and lots of really cute cat pens because we love cats here don't we don't we justine we all love cats lots of cat lovers here look at these ones you guys these are the, these are the oscar meyer wiener mobile which i've actually seen in real life i actually have you guys i have another twinkies and i have a kisses mm, okay justine coming in with the leaves and the pumpkin pie we also have Twizzlers. Aww. 
I love Miha and my cat Hopper. Aw, what kind of what kind of cat is Hopper? Ooh, Justine put some turkey in there. You guys, these are brand new last week. I know they're not socks, but I thought these were so cool. No, they're not deodorant. These are stain remover sticks. Treat stain and wash later. And I love that it's just in a nice little pack. Is that um Josiah? Hi Josiah. Yes, everyone drop your cutest fall emoji combos. Uh, Gigi and Ollie put dogs and cats. Yes, I love dogs too, but I've had cats my whole life. Justine's making me hungry with that pumpkin pie. I have multiples, you guys. And besides these, speaking of cats, I also have cat treats. I have little bags of cat treats that are also part of the three for 10. So if you wanna get a cute pair of socks, if you wanna get a little something for your laundry, if you wanna get some cat treats, I have a variety of stuff here. I have human treats too. I have some two for $5 candy, some Jolly Ranchers, some now and later sweet tarts, uh, Warheads, sour poppin' candy, Mike and Ike's. Um, I have some strawberry, what are these ones called? Strawberry? Cowtails. Oh, strawberry smoothie cowtails. Robin says, Mimi, I have a super bad headache and I need to take some Excedrin and lay down for a bit. I will finish watching tomorrow. Bunny Birdie Gator family, good night. Love and hugs to all of you. Love you, Robin, and I hope your headache goes away or your migraine. Hopefully you don't have a migraine, but we love you, honey. Um, hugs to you and Ron, and thank you so much for coming out tonight and supporting the auction. I'm gonna look forward to putting together your package for you. I hope you feel better, lovey. Um, Bloxy Cat Cat says, my cat Hopper was a stray, now indoor, outdoor, but he's so nice and never bites, hardly scratches, and he's a black cat. Love him so much. He's my comfort animal. Aww. That is so sweet. Um, I love cats for that. They're really good at comforting us, aren't they? And there's nothing wrong with black cats. We have a black cat. Don't we, Justine? We, um, our black cat named Jem, AKA Mommy, is very popular here, especially at the Bunny Birdie Gator store. Now in our last house, she used to like to come jump on the counter and make a little appearance. And um, you guys saw her last week. I was actually holding her, but she has PTSD for being held, so I can't really hold her that much. Justine says, I adopted my neighbor's black cat. He's my buddy, aw, aw. Black cats are the best. I love all cats. I don't care what color they are. Jenny says, three fluffy socks, a Twinkie, a Kisses, and a cat treat bag. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much. Three fluffy socks a Twinkie a Kisses, Twinkie, Kisses, and Cat Treat. Thank you so much, Jenny. Okay, a Kisses, a Twinkie, oh, they're so cute, look at that. Oh, love them, I love them, they're so cute. And we'll pick you out some fluffy ones. I'm not gonna let you see which fluffy ones though. I'm gonna surprise you. I'm gonna surprise Jenny. Look, we even have a kitty, a kitty sock here. Those are so cute. We're not gonna let Jenny see which fluffy ones though. If anyone else would like some socks, please let me know. Let me know what you have in mind. Okay, I'm secretly picking out Jenny's. <laughs> Jenny, what is, uh, Robin, oh. Saying goodnight, to, saying goodnight to Robin. Sorry for the bump, you guys. Gotta get at least one good bump in, you know? Okay, I'm setting these aside for Jenny. How does my little shop work? So Kat, all you have to do is, number one, kiss Oscar. And then I have a little link down in the description box. You basically can um, click on the link and it's like a 20 second sign up with your name and address, PayPal or Cash App. Um, and then just let me know 
that you're registered. And then basically I show stuff and then you just say, oh, I want that. You just type it in the chat. I want that. And then I, um, since you've registered, I basically just um, send you an invoice either via Cash App or PayPal. And then you know how much to pay and then I, you pay and I ship you your box. So super, super easy. And I also have, um, just in case you're not signed up for Cash App or PayPal, I also have two links down in the description box where you get $5 back with your first purchase if you're not signed up. So you get $5 back with your first purchase and I think I get $5 back too. I just added it. I've never shared my little referral link before so I've never had it work before but that's what it said. So yeah, it's super easy. Super easy to sign up. Oh, Angelica, thank you for being here, honey. Good night, if you're saying goodbye, or maybe you're saying hi, good night, like hello. <laughs> okay, you guys, on to some two for $12 items. Two for $12 items, um, those of you that weren't here last week, um, you have not seen these yet. Um, I was really excited when I found these. So these are gonna be two for 12. I believe these go for like $10 each. They're offered in stores like Walmart and Target. We have the full circle brand zip tuck reusable lunch set. So we have the smaller snack bag and then we have the larger one. These are reusable. It says up to five, each bag replaces up to 500 single use plastic zipper bags. So these are reusable. You can wash them out, use them again. No need to like be searching for that Ziploc. You know, you're like, where's the Ziploc? And Someone used up the last one and now you're like, where am I gonna put my snacks, my sandwich, my chips? But yes, you guys, I have multiples of these. I think they're really cute. I got them right before summer, but if you're like me and you love plants, then you'll love using these year round. I just think they're so cute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight of them in total. I didn't wipe the store out. I just got eight of them. So I have eight of them and they're available two for 12. Also part of the two for 12, this has been such a great seller and this is something I use every day, you guys. I love these. Um, I think the brand is Walu Home. Is it Walu? Yeah, Walu Home Stainless Steel Straws. So I have two packs of the straight straws with the little um, cleaner. And then I have two packs of the curved straws with the cleaner and these are so good you guys like for cold drinks for iced coffee it's going to change your whole experience throw some ice in that drink get one of these metal straws and it's going to be so cold and fresh and good like everything is going to taste so much better so so much better yes so Two for 12, you guys, the reusable bags, the stainless steel straws. Justine says, those are great. I have both kinds, yeah, they're so good. I offered this last week for the first time from the Nature Company. This is a little set of Firefly lights. I just came down on the price. As you guys can see, it's brand new vintage. 1992, you guys, brand new in the container. It's a little jar and it's little firefly lights. Super cute. It says you can put them on Christmas trees and stuff too. So that's part of the two for 12. And then lastly, part of the two for 12, I have two very large packs of the Prang colored pencils, 50 to a pack. Um, let me close that reminder, okay. 50 to a pack, you guys. Lots and lots of colors, non-toxic, 3.3 millimeter. Yes. Also includes silver and gold. All of these are two for 12, you guys. This is the biggest pack yet. I offered some smaller packs, but this one is 50. So you're getting 50 for $6. And Prang is name brand. You guys know these cost a lot more at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Target, everywhere, like, yes. So if you guys see anything you'd like, just have me pull it for you. Two for 
12. Did everyone eat yet? What did you guys have for dinner? I think we're having chicken tonight. Diane, if you're still here, we're not having pizza tonight. No pizza tonight. Nope. Something with chicken. I don't know. Lori had salad. Mm, what kind of salad, Lori? I've been craving like a big like chicken salad or something like what sounds so good would be like a grilled chicken salad. Jaya and I love salads. We almost had a salad the other night, but then we changed our mind. I ended up making a sandwich and she ended up having, I think she had like a chicken pizza or something or a spinach mushroom pizza. Jess had an asada bowl from Corona's Tacos. Mmm, you're making me hungry, Jess. Okay, you guys, I have some more skincare. This skincare is sold at Ulta for $32 a bottle, $32 a box. And I have a few different varieties. These are all gonna be $15 each. This is a very clean brand. The brand is Bad Habit. This is the Wake Things Up Matcha and Mint Daily Cleanser. Justine had a salami bagel with mozzarella cheese and some fruit. Mmm, you guys are making me so hungry. So this is the five ounce um, daily cleanser. Again, you guys see the Ulta price tag there. Lori had mixed lettuce, cherry tomatoes, marble jack shredded cheese. Oh my gosh, Lori, I love putting sunflower seeds in the salad. Oh my gosh. I haven't done that in a long time. That is so good. I have three of each of these, you guys. These are $15 each. Um, again, they go for $32 each at Ulta. I have three of the Wake Things Up Matcha and Mint Daily Cleanser. I have three of the Good As New AHA slash BHA Creamy Cleanser. So this is a daily cleanser. This is a creamy cleanser. Again, the brand is Bad Habit. I also have this Keep Calm Adaptogen Soothing Toner, five ounces. And lastly, I have this, oh, this is a nightly cleansing balm. O-M-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z, like you're sleeping. Acai Nightly Cleansing Balm, 3.3 ounces. Ah, Justine says, at Jess, I was feeling my Italian side tonight. Mmm, yes. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, I grabbed these for you guys. Um, $15 each, bad habit. Sold at Ulta for 32, at least the cleansers. Um, and I'm asking 15. If anyone would like any skincare, you would? You want a facial? Oscar, what about your, oh, we won't talk about that, Oscar. We won't talk about that, because you're a real lizard. By the way, you guys, I saw a lizard. I saw a lizard climbing around on the wall in my backyard. A little dark brown lizard. And I really hope I see another one because I'm gonna take Oscar out there to go see the next one. <laughs> Italian food is amazing. Oh my gosh, yes it is. It is so amazing. Mm. I'm getting hungrier and hungrier and all while actively smelling the delicious chicken. Um, some chicken breasts. All I know is that we had some chicken breasts out. I don't know what my husband's cooking. He always cooks on auction nights um, if the kids aren't having pizza. So I'm really happy he's cooking tonight. Okay, so does anyone want any bad habit skincare? Let me know if you do, please. Um, I've been trying the, I haven't tried any bad habit yet. I've been trying the Derma Geek. So again, we have Derma Geek. We have Freeman, and we have Bad Habit. 
My grandmother made the best lasagna and cream puffs. Oh, that sounds so good, Justine, both of them. Ooh, the cream puffs sound really good. Okay, you guys, now I have shown this to you guys for quite a while now. I want to do a lot. I want to sell the entire lot. Um, a lot of, well, let's just say virtually all of these are vintage. Now, I'm not going to part with the cases, but I will say that there's going to be, there's going to be at least 48 plus matching earrings, uh, earrings that are full sets. Um, a lot of these can be repurposed for other reasons or other uh, projects, but all of them are pretty much vintage. You could definitely repurpose some of these for embellishments. A lot of these are, like all of these are clip-on earrings. We have some little um, various like bracelets these are the dupes what, what are they called you guys with the little charms we determined when i showed these to you guys for the first time that they weren't legit but they still are cute we have say we have some angels and some crosses some number one teacher some teacher themed things these make it just so easy to show things these are a lot of these are just mismatched but they could be good for embellishments we have some vintage um triple A little pins here. I wanna just do, and then I have some, and then I have even more in the bags, you guys. Even more in the bags. Like, this is like one of those big bags you see at the thrift store. We have necklaces, multiple necklaces, chokers. Okay, these ones aren't vintage. I got these at Forever 21. Um, we have beads. And then even more in this bag, lots of necklaces. And then I have some, I'm not sure if these are scarf pins or what. You might know, Justine. These right here, these little pins, if they're like scarf pins, these ones, there's a few of them in the bag. This one has someone's monogram on it, someone's initials. The big chunky beads. And then this bag is nothing but pins, definitely vintage. Some giraffes, a butterfly, a bear, some flowers. Ouch! <laughs> we have a little like Scottish bagpipe guy here. This is the little giraffe one. Definitely a, a vintage set here, you guys. And you guys know we don't really do many, um, it's not really an auction anymore, but I would like to start, um, if anyone is interested, I would like to, to start a bid at 30. And if anyone is interested in bidding uh, for this, it's the entire lot and we're gonna start it at 30. Started at 30. Ouch, I keep getting myself, you guys. I have all sorts of, this is a bunch, like, I don't know, this is probably like eight, eight or more, nine, 10 pins. But I'd love to start this at 30 and actually do like a 10 second countdown. If anyone wants to start the bidding, just go ahead and drop the 30 in the chat. If no one's interested, that's okay too. I might just try another time with you know, on a different night, because I know vintage is not for everyone and not everyone is a crafter either. So yes, you guys. Oh, that's a little pin too. That one up there is a little, um, you guys see it? It's a little mushroom. I know mushrooms are super popular right now, all the little mushroom lamps. See a little golden mushroom? And then that one up there is a turtle. Justine says Italian, Mexican, and Portuguese. Lori says human. <laughs> we all share that, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> now some other ones here. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> 
And Justine says, ha ha. What about you, Oscar? Reptilian? A, a reptilian cutie. I know. Mwah. Give me a kiss. You are a cutie. Kat says, I'm Irish mostly and American. Yes, Jai and I have a lot of Irish ancestry. Yes, we do. Our great, great grandmother came over here from Ireland. We've been doing a lot of genealogy. I think it was our great, great. I think our great, great grandmother came over here when she was 15. Yes, we've been doing a lot of genealogy research and we discovered some really interesting things. There might be a really interesting uh, short and TikTok that my daughter puts up. It is a pretty amazing um, bit of family history. So I'm not gonna blow it here. I'm not gonna blow the cover here, you guys. But when she puts it up, if and when she puts it up, I'll let you guys know because it, it kind of blew our minds. Kat says, my dad and cousins were born in Ireland. Haven't seen them in five plus years, sadly. Oh, I'm sorry, Kat. I bet you miss them so much. Jess says, I have a lot of Irish on my dad's side. Lori says, a little bit of everything. Yes. The first ancestry test I took said that I was 15% Southeast Asian. Um, it didn't really elaborate though. And then I took another one um, more recently and it didn't say anything about being Southeast Asian. It mostly just focused on um, the Irish, the English, the French. Um, I'm a little bit Egyptian. Um, and just, it really broke it all down. But now I'm like, okay, do I take a third one? Do I take a third one, you guys? Because like that first one I took was some years ago and it was, that's a pretty huge chunk of Southeast Asian. Um, so yeah, I'm, I was like, okay, for many years, I was like, okay, cool. I have Asian ancestry. I had always kind of wondered, like, did I have a big chunk of ancestry that I didn't really know about? Because one of my grandparents was adopted and I had been asked a bunch of different, yes, walk like an Egyptian. I had been um, asked a bunch of different questions all my years of living, especially when I lived in Washington state. I had people from all ethnicities come up to me and say, you look like my cousin, you look like my family member that lives in Mexico or that lives in Spain or just variety. I had someone Asian come up to me and say, you look like one of my relatives. So, yeah, Justine, you should, you should. Oh, those manifests are so interesting. I never took a test. I got most of my info off of the manifest at Ellis Island. It's so cool to see like your ancestors signatures, isn't it? Yeah, Jai and I were, we were amazed at that. We learned so much family history. I definitely wanna share more with you guys um, in the near future. I don't want to blow her piece of content idea that she has in mind because that one is um, really amazing and um, a little bit funny too. It's pretty awesome. Um, let's see you guys. I'm looking around and oh, you know, I was going to show you guys. Jenny, I'm not sure if you're interested or if you're still here, but I do like to show you the kitchen items because I know you have gotten quite a bit of kitchen items in the past. I'm gonna do the test. I just haven't gotten around to it, says Justine. You should, Justine, it's so much fun. It's so exciting. And, um, you know, it's, wow. We have some stories, like, we have some stories uh, because, you know, there are family members out there that actually really need your help finding their family members. Uh, you're gonna maybe uncover some family secrets. We did, we definitely did some family members that didn't know who their dad was, who didn't know uh, who their mom was. And like, now you're in direct contact and it will come up as a genetic match for you. So now you're like, okay, um, I kind of feel like I have a duty to like help these family members. So opens a whole can of worms. 
Um, you guys, the box is not uh, the best, but this is a brand new from Aldi, never used compost bucket. Kitchen counter compost bucket. It has a nice glass lid. It's all white. It's all glass. And it comes with the replacement charcoal liners that go in the lid. It also comes with a nice big roll of the compostable bags. Um, this is going to be for 30. I paid 28 prior to tax. I think it was like 2790 something. And I thought I was going to be using it, but I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just didn't know you guys. I composted for years living out in the country and now I'm not composting anymore. So um, this is what it looks like. Super heavy. Justine says, I know very little about my biological father. He and my mom divorced when I was two. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I think it would be really fun for you to discover more through, um, through one of the tests. And you might have some family members that you'll be able to connect with, you know? Maybe connect with your dad if that's something that you're wanting to do. Might find some siblings that you don't know you have. I mean, it's it really takes you there. Like, I was so glued to it with Shia. Like, we spent so many hours just, like, researching and learning and helping build the tree and... We even uploaded some pictures that we had, that my dad had, and we even had some documents that, um, like, we have, like, everyone can basically do their part to help build the family tree for future generations. It, it can it can not only unlock things for you now, but it can be, um, it can be something kind of like a gift for future generations, you know? totally a gift and you know that you are making that effort um, to make things easier for future generations that might be in the same position as you. You guys, this is a really nice piece. Um, let me lift this up just a little bit. It's super big, super tall, um, really nice piece, very heavy. Katie's here. Hey, Katie. Welcome, Katie. And I opened the bag, you guys, but I never did anything with it. Um, the liners are included, which normally go for about um, 7 or $8 each on eBay. It shows the filter size, the bag size, and it says additional ones can be purchased online. Again, this is an Aldi product. This is a Crofton, pure quality. The thing that I love about Crofton is that a lot of the Crofton items are dupes for very high-end kitchen items. I know you guys watch, um, I can't think of her name right now. Um, I love her channel, I am subscribed. Well, I can't, I'm drawing a blank where she shows a lot of Aldi products and she shows a lot of um, other, other products where she tries stuff. I think the word try is in her um, channel name. But her channel is awesome and she's always talking about how Aldi has a lot of really high-end dupes. Time for some more water, you guys. It's my half gallon, so it's gonna sound a little a little chuggy, but you know, gotta take a sip. Cheers, you guys. My husband's currently watching T Grizzlies. Um, I don't know if he's watching them live or just watching uh, something. Um, one of his pieces of content on like replay, but we really got into watching him. He plays Grand Theft Auto, but it's like on his own server. So it's like super modified. And like, we really fell, fell into the role plays and the, the storyline of the game. And I hear him listening to it right now. We like really, really loved um, at one point watching that together. But right now what we're watching is, what is it you guys? Love is Blind. I think it's called Love is Blind. We just started watching the new season on Netflix last night. And we're waiting for midnight tonight because two more episodes, I think two or three more episodes are about to drop tonight. And I was so invested and thoroughly, 
thoroughly, thoroughly entertained. This season of Love is Blind is amazing if you guys are into relationship shows like that. Uh, we are, and it's kind of like our guilty pleasure, and we love watching those. So that's what I'm going to be watching later tonight, you guys. Can't wait for Love is Blind. I'm going to be um, having some popcorn and one of my little sugar-free drinks, and I am going to be there, you guys, right on the couch, and we are going to be watching Love is Blind. <laughs> you guys, what do you think about... Um, certain content creators that have a discord and watch shows with their community because i would love to do that with you guys like um at some point would you guys want to like watch stuff on discord i don't really know how the whole thing works exactly how it goes like i'm not sure I, my kids have discord and I've been entertaining the idea of Discord for some time, but I've heard some other creators that I watch um, on a real regular basis that they do game night and like like movie night or watching a certain series together. Like, I would love to do that with you guys. Like, that would be fun. Like, let's get our snacks and like, let's agree on a series that we're going to watch together. And like, we have like a movie night or something. Like, I am all about that. Yes. Kat says, that'd be fun. I'm in Jaya's Discord. Yes, Jaya's Discord is pretty new. I don't know. I know it's very new. She's been wanting to have it for a while. And now that she has it, I, I got to talk to her about it. I'm like, hmm, what are you guys doing in your Discord? But I would love to do like fun stuff like that. There's a content creator that I love. I watch him every single night. I'm going to type in his channel right here. You guys, if you guys love ASMR, oh my gosh. If you love role, role play ASMR, you guys have to check him out. He is amazing. And his girlfriend is an ASMRist as well. This is who I watch every single night. This is who I fall asleep to. This is what I listen to every single night. And if you guys end up checking him out and you guys fall in love with his content, um, ask me what some of my favorite, uh, videos are. I'll share some of my favorites with you. I definitely have favorite role plays that he does. And he's like an aspiring actor and he is super talented. I think he's only 24 years old. He is, um, oh, I love him. You guys, I love him. We do nothing in the discord. We should do voice chats though. Well, I know she just started it and she, I know she has plans, but um, yeah, her and I are gonna have to, ha have to have a Discord conversation because I think you guys should like, as the Discord, as the group grows, you guys should like come together and figure out what sort of things you guys wanna do together like with her, you know? that That's what makes it like really fun. But yeah, I definitely wanna get a Discord too. Right now, <clears throat> we have a, we've had it for a while. We have a Bunny Birdie Gator group chat on IG that we've had for I don't know since like spring and um, you guys are super active on there I'm not uh, super super active just because I've been really busy but you guys talk to each other say hello good afternoon good night what did you eat what are you going through um, sharing pictures you guys are very active so if anyone watching here is not a part of the bunny birdie gator group chat and you'd like to be um, let me see who's on right now that could go ahead and add. Um, Jess, if anyone wants to be added, would you add them? I've never even added anyone, you guys. Joy usually takes full control of that. I'm like, Joy, that's your thing. You go ahead and run that. But since Joy went to bed um, or isn't here right now, if you guys want to join the Bunny Birdie Gator group chat on IG and you want to be a part of the community, Please, please, please give your info to Jess. Looks like Lori would like to be added. So I think Lori, Jess just needs your Instagram handle and she can go ahead and add you. But yes, you guys are very active. Carmen, are you still watching, honey? I know Carmen's on here saying good morning to everyone all the time. Carmen's in Puerto Rico, so she usually blasts out the very first good morning to everyone in the group because of the time difference but yeah i love that you guys are so sweet to each other and um i love the community that we're starting to build so yes you guys i'm looking around i don't think i'm gonna share anything else tonight unless 
you guys would like to see some more of those stickers. I also do have lots of really cute stickers. Um, I have sticker bundles. Um, I'm trying to remember what my sticker bundle prices are. You guys, I'm so rusty after having the store closed for a little bit. I think I was doing 12 stickers for, I think I was doing 12 stickers for $5, maybe. Do I have a regular sticker buyer on here that can tell me what I was charging? That's so horrible, you guys. I, I think I just, my brain got kind of fried over these months of moving, the amounts of stress, the amounts of um, very little sleep over these months. It's like, I, I don't know, like, <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of insane. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, why am I not remembering this? But you know, that's like with anything, you get a little rusty and now you're like, oh, wait a minute. Um, yeah, what, what was that? And how much was it? And oh, and by the way, you guys, I always have phone cords. These are the six foot purple phone cords, the ones sold at Walmart. You guys know I always have these. Um, these are $8. Diane's is 12 for $4. 12 for $4. Was that what I was doing? 12 for four? I know at one point I think I started for three. 12 for four? That's probably right. That's probably right, Diane. That sounds familiar. I was either doing 12 for four or 12 for five. These are $8, you guys. This is the six foot. Are we crooked now? I feel like we're crooked. Are we just getting a weird, uh, let's take it down a little bit. Are we just getting a weird angle? Yes but we do have stickers, so those are $8. I have two of these, not sure if you're still watching, Jenny, I know you liked a lot of these supplements. I have two of these remaining, the Goalie Bites. These are um, 10 each. These are the Calm, 30 pieces, 25 calories per bite, the Goalie Bites. And then these are eight. I always have phone cords. These go for about 13 in Walmart. I only have this like purple pink one. They're very long lasting because they have the stitching and they have this like covering on them. In like over a year, I think I've only replaced one of these for my kids. Like you guys know how you'll get a phone cord and it'll last two months, three months, maybe six months. These are super long lasting, you guys. They're like really sturdy. I only have the purple though, but if you love purple, you're in luck, or if you just wanna go purple with like Halloween, it's good. Good for iPhone, iPad, iPod. Lightning to USB, six feet, super long, way better than the three foot. I really love mine. Everyone in my family uses these. This is all we use because it's just such a good cord. So yeah, you guys, I always have those. And should we look at stickers or not, you guys? I, I feel like I kind of want to show you guys some more of these little scratch and sniff ones. Uh, this one, These ones are all pineapple. So these are going to be the dollar each large stickers. So these are all pineapple scented. We have Two Can Do It. We have this little cutie right here. Now some of these might look familiar because some of the smaller ones... I put on your packages. So if you guys ever see, you're like, wait a minute, that looks familiar. If you guys um, ever see these on your packages, then these are scratch and sniff. The most recent packages I just set out or sent out have dogs on them and they all smell like peaches. They're all like puppies and they all smell like peaches. So if you got a package from me, um, heading your way. They're all going to smell like peaches. Jess says, just making sure I have the correct account. There are a few Lori Tomlinson's that popped up. So this one says Island Life. So these are a dollar each. Again, those are all pineapple scented. If you guys see a sticker you want, these stickers are a dollar each. These are not um, my um, normal sticker bundles that I do. These are just a dollar each. If you guys want to look at some other stickers beyond this, um, let me know. I have lots and lots of stickers, or maybe we'll go sticker crazy next week. Now, these ones are all coconut scented. We have food coma, <laughs> lots of sloths. Food coma, we have 
this little cutie right here. Oh my gosh. Yep. Thank you so much, Jess, for adding Lori to the Bunny Birdie Gator group chat. Oh, that one's so cute. Oh, look at this little one. Oh, so, so adorable. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Yes, and Diane would like to be added too. Thanks again, Jess. Oh my gosh, all in a day's work. That one is adorable. Just chilling. Oh, I love that one. Just chilling. And then we have Yawn. And again, these are all coconut scented. One dollar each for these. And then we also have some donut scented ones. Donut scented. Oh, these smell good. They kind of smell like chocolatey. We have this little narwhal. We have sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. By the way, if you guys ever want to invite your friends, siblings, neighbors, coworkers, if you just want to like be on chat with them um, to have someone to talk to during the live, please, please, please feel free anytime to invite your family to any of my live streams, especially the Bunny Birdie Gator store because we're on here usually for three hours, sometimes four hours. Let's chill and eat donuts. But yes, everyone is welcome. We have some best friends on here. We have some sisters that watch on here. Uh, B and her sister are on here sometimes together. You are unique. Um, and then everyone here basically is, you guys are like sisters because a lot of you have been here on my channel for years and a lot of you really truly do have friendships with each other. You guys talk to each other every day, whether it's in the comments or it's in the group chat, like you guys are truly friends with each other. And some of you have even met in real life, like have met in person, like Jess and Joy. And um, I know others of you have also met in real life. And I hope to bring together more people as, you know, if you guys come out to visit me here in Las Vegas or you come out for a trip and we meet and we do like a meet and greet, I would love to bring more of the community together. We have Berry Sweet. These are, again, um, Scratch and Sniff. These are all berry scented, you guys, and these are a dollar each. Aren't they so cute? Oh my gosh, Banana Split. I told my kids I was gonna do a banana split night, which I really need to do. Meet and greet in Vegas. That would be so much fun, wouldn't it, Justine? And we could, you guys could vote on what you wanna do. We could just go do fun, fun Vegas stuff together. This one says yummy. We have Berry Cool. By the way, you guys, something very cool is that my daughter Jaya is about to hit 100K. She has content going viral right now. She has content going viral so often. You guys, if you haven't subscribed to my daughter Jaya Capretta, please subscribe to her channel and support her channel. She's about to hit 100K. She's gonna be having her play button. You guys, last time I checked, she was at 95K, but she's going viral right now. She's getting like thousands of new subscribers a day. And I've been seeing her and my kids since they were younger. Like, I'm so happy that you guys are a part of this journey, you know? It's really, really exciting. We have Super Sweet and we have Triple Scoop, please. Yes, my brother and I, um, I used to say that him and I were the dessert twins. And what does that mean? That means when we're together, we get seconds at the same time and we go in for seconds. But last couple times we got together, we said, um, we're, you know, we might be retiring the dessert twins because we're both trying to be healthier. Um, but yeah. We had a lot of fun being dessert twins. And now we're just trying to focus more on our health. He has a baby on the way, his first baby. Um, him and his wife are expecting their first baby here in January, you guys. So I have a little niece on the way. I am super excited. Okay, last but not least, you guys, we have Puppy Love and these are all peach scented. So if you guys ordered a package from me last week, you guys are gonna have some small 
peach scented stickers on your packages, so make sure you do a scratch and sniff. Oh my gosh, this one is adorable. Cute as pie, look at that. That's adorable. Thanks, Justine. Yeah, I'm excited. I am really excited, and I love my sister-in-law's family so much. Um, they are so amazing. We felt so at home when we visited this summer, and I can't wait to go back to Denver. We had so much fun with them. Her family is so amazing. Like, there's just so much love in her family, and I, I'm just in love with her family. Like, little by little, I'm meeting more and more of her family. Um, there was about, oh, well, about 14 or 15 of her family members actually came out to Minnesota, but I was already out here. By that time, I had met all of those family members, but um, that's a that's a trip, or or not a trip. That's a, a well, a get together that I would have really loved to be a part, loved to have been a part because they were visiting for like a week. But I was already out here. Cute as pie. Oh, thank you, Justine. Cute as pie, Justine. I have one more that you are probably gonna love. Thank you so much for adding this one, Justine. This one is adorable. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, so cute. J Diane says, you can be dessert twins because you probably only see each other a couple times a year. That's true, Diane. That's true. And my stepmom makes the most amazing desserts. Like, ah, uh, you guys, I mean, amazing. Amazing. She's an amazing baker. Cute as pie. Thank you, Justine. Cute as pie sticker is yours and it's peach scented would anyone else like a sticker i think this one is so cute peachy cane adorable yeah so that was a look at some of the large scented stickers i had never shown those to you guys before but i was like i'm going to show those tonight i've really been feeling peach lately you guys look my pretty is peach I'm a, I'm a lotion cutter, you guys. I had to get in there and get the last little bit of my free sample. Can I show the cat ones? Oh, sure. Um, did I say I had, oh, the, the scented ones? Let me see. Or my regular ones. Oh, yes, 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 these ones. The chocolate scented ones, the chocolate scented ones. Okay, let me put the peachies back in their little thing, their little pouch. Yes, so these ones are all chocolate. So cute. Okay, here we go. Okay, and, and so this is the one you picked already. You picked this one already and you picked cute as pie. So I'm gonna set those aside for you. And I'm gonna separate them so they don't, so peppermint doesn't smell like peach and peach doesn't smell like peppermint. They're, they will be separated. It's the little details, you guys, you know, when you, when you do shipping. So we have this cutie pie with the kitty. We have order up. We have meow caroons. That one's so cute. We have Mucha Latte. Mucha. Miacha. 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 Miacha Latte. <laughs> we have Caramel Miacchiato. Miacchiato. Oh, look at the face. Look at the baby. It looks like watercolor, doesn't it? Cappuccino. A little tea in it. A little cuppa. And a uh, Kitty Boba. Kitty Boba Hearts. Yep, and those are all chocolate. Yes, those are all chocolate. Those are adorable. Love those. So Robin shopped with us tonight, Terry, Jenny, and Justine. Order up and cappuccino, you got it. Cappuccino is yours. Cheers. <laughs> cappuccino. And the cute little Starbucks one. That one is so cute. Order up. Thank you, Justine. 
Aw, they're so cute. So order up and cappuccino will, will go together. Oh, let's see, uh, peppermint mocha is also chocolate. So those three can be in a little envelope together. Um, I have some little envelopes right over there. I'm gonna load them right in there. And then cute as pie is gonna go in its own little envelope to preserve the scented, the scentedness. Brie would love those. Do I have any more? Um, I don't have any more um, scented cat ones. Um, I just have, let's see, what did I show you guys tonight? But I do have tons of other stickers. Um, so again, I have the Girl Power. I have the Cotton Candy Scented, um, Cotton Candy ones. The Pineapple Scented Tropical ones. The Sloth, that was in Coconut. The Donut Scented Narwhals. The Berry Scented Bear Themed stickers the peach scented puppies, and the chocolate cats. Those are all the scented ones I have. And then I have tons of other stickers. You guys know I have tons of other stickers. Did you want me to pull out some regular stickers, Jess? Be happy to do that for you. I have my little cute um, Shein vacation, um, suitcase with stickers in them all really easy to see but none of the other ones are scented i love stickers they're so fun uh oh sorry for the bump you guys bump okay i didn't pull all of them out for tonight you guys i know i have some fall ones okay let's see I have some fall stickers, but I need to get those organized. And you guys remember I have glitter and filler too, if you guys want to see any of those. So I have this cute little case. Set it down very carefully. <clears throat> oh, my stomach's starting to say, we're hungry. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna gurgle and make noises and act a fool. Okay, here we go. So let's adjust it a little bit. Yes. Okay, so what do we have in here? I haven't updated this r lately, you guys. I have a few like little hairs and dust in here, but everything is nice and clean in their cases. So we have, let's see what this one is. You guys know I love cute, so. What do we have in here? Oh, a lot of these are hearts. Love. I love you. Okay, that one's love themed. <laughs> I put the cats here. Love and heart and Valentine's Day. We have strawberry. I know Robin's not here anymore. Hopefully her headache went away. Um, but I have a lot of strawberry themed ones because Robin loves strawberries and I do custom order um, stickers for you guys. This is like strawberry, um, strawberry shortcake. We have strawberry desserts, uh, strawberry popsicles. Oh, you already see the ones Brie would love the kitty astronaut. It would kind of match a shirt she has, really? Kitty astronaut? Okay, oh, okay, let's pull that one up. But to let you guys know, I have SpongeBob, I have purple and lilac themed stickers that are very cute, and I have strawberries. I think these are some of the things that I did prior to moving, like when I packed up some things, I like put stuff away even more, wrapped up some things. I have Tom and Jerry stickers that um, I think I got specifically um, because I remember Robin and I think Justine possibly and also Jess gave me some suggestions on some stickers that they would want to see in the future. So I did make some purchases um, according to some of those requests. So I have Tom and Jerry. Um, 
I have tons of butterflies and I have like cute and kawaii, like fluffy animals, bears, bunnies. Um, I think there's like some little girls in here. A lot of, a variety of like cute hearts, a variety of bunnies, tons of butterflies. Tons of butterflies. I think this is the one, as you guys see, there's even more in here because towards like last, like winter and fall, I ordered a lot of these um, from Shein. I ordered a lot of these little um, containers and I started organizing a lot of my stickers. Um, this one, Jess, is, here we go, we have cats. You like this one for Brie? We have cats, lots of cats, not today, ah, so cute. If you have a certain color, if you want me just to put together, you guys know how I do my bundles. A lot of times, like if there's one or two that you want me to put together, um, and then you let me just kind of like put it together according to colors. I can do that. Oh, did this one, what's going on here? And these are the uh, vinyl stickers, you guys. Okay, this one looks like it might have, yeah, I see this is what it looks like. These are the type that can go on surfaces and then be reset back on. It's kind of a good example. I'm kind of glad that happened. I can go in water bottles and be reusable again. You'll take a bundle. You'll take a bundle of cat stickers and a Pusheen bundle. You got it. Thank you, Jess. Oh my gosh, Jess, I wanted to show you something. This is for my Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin, Midwest people only. Um, I have, and thank you, Jess, so much for adding the stickers. I don't, I need to figure out how much I have on here. I have some money left on this Air Insanity card. I don't know how much. Um, it might be $3, $7 or whatever. I don't know if you guys, if you ever take Brie to that or not, let me know. But I also have, I don't know what I have left, but if you would like this, Jess, I will put this in with your stickers. I don't know how many dollars, if there's, $3, $7, if it expired, if it's still good or whatever. I haven't called the number, but I will put this in with your stickers if you'd like it. Again, it's been a while since I've used it, so I don't know. It, it might be a little something on there or maybe it expired, but I could throw it in with your stickers if you'd like. But also, I have, and I need to double check, I'm pretty sure um, this is something I'd be selling. Um, I'm pretty sure I have $90 on this. So this would be um, Sherry, if you're watching, um, Jess, Diane, a lot of my Midwest people that are watching. This is good for the Warrenburg Theaters and the Marcus Theaters. So Jess, the movie theater out by the Mercedes dealership, the Target, the Dollar Tree out there, um, that's for, this, for that theater. But also if you're in Wisconsin, any of the Marcus Theaters. Um, so I think pretty much Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, I'm not sure of the other areas, but I'm going to find the exact dollar amount, you guys, and I'll probably share this with you guys again. Um, I believe I have $90 on here and I, um, tried to see if they would just catch it for me or send me a check, but they said we can't do that. So that's something that I'm going to be, that I'm going to be offering during the auction, um, it might be a little lower than the value, but I believe I have $90 on this card. Just kind of wanted to plant the seed and let you guys know um, because that could be a nice giftable item for the holidays or a nice little <clears throat> treat, you know, for yourself. But thank you so much, Jess. Um, I'm going to jot down your cat stickers and Pusheen. So two, right, Jess? Two of them. Pusheen stickers. Brie loves to go to Air Insanity. I hope something's still on it because last time I took the kids, um, yeah, I don't know what I have on it, but 
Hopefully something's still on it, hopefully. So maybe don't tell her yet until you check it or maybe I'll check it before sending it. Um, and if there's nothing on the back of it. <laughs> no, there's a number on here, there's a number and there's a scratchable pin. I'll probably have to scratch it. I'm just gonna put it in with your stickers. I'm just gonna put it in with your stickers. But yeah, maybe check it before you tell her. I don't know how much is left. It's probably not that much, but Air Insanity, in my opinion, is very expensive. And so hopefully it helps a little bit, if, you know, next time you try to, next time you wanna take her. But yeah, you guys, um, I have lots of stickers here. So many cat stickers. I have food stickers. Um, food stickers. I have little chicky birdie stickers, chicken stickers in here. You're welcome, Jess. Little like roosters. We have, oh my gosh, Justine, if you're still here, um, Jaya ordered a cat house that looks like this. It's a, like a little Japanese milk box. It's a strawberry milk. So cute. No one's really brave enough to go into it yet, but I have these little drink and the Ramunes or the Ramune, maybe it's Ramune. The Ramune drinks, the peach milk, strawberry milks, a lot of the Japanese drinks and sodas, because I'm obsessed. I think it's adorable. Uh, cute. We have the Pusheen. Jess ordered a bundle of these, so I'm gonna be building some a little bundle for Jess out of the Pusheens, super cute. We have, um, I have unicorn stickers, lots and lots of food and drink stickers. Yes, you guys, you're seeing my little pony stickers. I have tiny piggies, piggy stickers. I have, I'm trying to remember what his name is. Um, this little character, he is a little, cute shark, a little chubby, cute shark, and I can't remember what his name is. Super, super cute. Adorable. Yes, these are vinyl stickers, you guys. We have pink theme stickers. The piggies, the food stickers, lots of food stickers. We have even more little Asian snack stickers. Let's see. And I know we've talked about it before, you guys, but I would love to get you guys some things at Daiso. Look at this, you guys. I have like Sanrio Cinema Roll. Lots of really, really cute stickers here. Almost all Cinema Roll, though. This one. Okay, this is some of the snacks. What did I put in here? I think those, this is all like unicorns. Um, coffee, churros, we have pan dulce, we have little corns, we have watermelon, we have chill pills, we have burgers, popcorn. I'm glad you're still here, Jesse. Another popcorn, we have, uh, what does it say? Wine, wine about? Wine about it. Oh, wine about it. Okay, wine about it. We have donuts in here. Fries before guys. Love the colors. Yes. Gladly. Cinema roll. Cinema roll. Where'd you go? Thanks, Jess. Cinema roll. Let's put that in there. Cinema roll. <laughs> um, we have fruits in here. I also have, um, you guys, you know this isn't it. I have Starbucks stickers. I have, let me grab my tray. I didn't fix, now if you guys remember my tray right at the last auction, I had went ahead and, oh, I got all these bunny ones too, bunnies and bears. Right before the last auction, I had, um, I think I might have updated my tray. You guys know I have a lot more stickers than this. But I'll show you, oh, and I have Christmas stickers too, and Dreamcatcher stickers. Oh my gosh, you guys, so many, so many. I have lots and lots and lots. 
Okay, we have another more Asian foods and Asian snacks. Stickers in here. They're kind of like animal, some of them are kind of animal themed too. We have more like um, beachy dream catchers, mushrooms and feathers in this one. Um, lots of pinks for all the pink lovers. I started working on a pink bundle. Lots of pinks. We have lots of um, like dogs, dinosaurs, animals, peacocks. A lot of them are like really cute with cute faces like that little lobster. Like lots of little cute animals. All sorts of animals. Pigs, elephants, cute dogs, cute dogs, happy dogs, sad dogs. I also have Christmas stickers. Um, I have some Christmas stickers from last year. I believe I have some Christmas Grinch stickers also. I think they might be in here. Let me see if I have the Grinch stickers. Aha. Yes. Who remembers? The pink bundle, sure. Gladly. There are some bad ones in here too. Like there's some bad Grinch ones. I don't know, I might've pulled the, the Grinch ones aside, some of the bad ones. Um. <laughs> yes, I love the Grinch. I know, I know you guys do too. Schedule. Wow and self-pity. Stare into the abyss, solve world hunger. Jazzercise, dinner with myself, sip slowly into madness. Wrestle with self-loathing. <laughs> you gotta love the Grinch, you, you gotta love him. My oldest son does the best Grinch voice. We have some uh, family traditions, and one of the things we do is we read How the Grinch Stole Christmas on Christmas Eve, and he does the voices, and he even does a couple songs on his guitar, and um, it's amazing, you guys. We have our list of Christmas books we read the night before Christmas, and it's just so cozy. Okay, so those are some Grinch stickers. I would like to order a bunch of Christmas stickers if you guys are interested. So tell me please in the chat if you guys would be interested in Christmas stickers, um, Christmas pens, and like what we did last year. If you guys are interested, then I'm interested because I want to I want to bring you guys the fun stuff that you want. Okay, Justine, let's open this up. It's not the biggest because I just I just kind of started it. Um, I was trying to put together um, a container of pinks and I took these from some of my other um, bundles that I have. I was just starting this one before the move. Visco girl. That one's really cute. Yeah. Super cute. Aww. One of the very first bundles, do you guys remember one of the very first bundles I ever did was a pink bundle. I need to do a lot more pink bundles. Oh, and I'm gonna show you guys the tray. I have some more cute stuff, but I know another really um, popular seller besides pink bundles has been Starbucks. You guys love the Starbucks stickers. The Hello Kitty has been really popular. Um, yeah, what other sort of things would you guys be interested in for the holidays? Or did you really, what other things did you really enjoy finding last year at the store? If you guys have favorites, if you guys have things on your wish list, please let me know. I'm wearing my Crocs right now. I'm wearing the ones I showed you guys last week with all the cute gibbets on it. I filled up every single hole on my little Timu Crocs and I love them. I have pearls, I have kitties. I have hearts, I have flowers, 
I have a strawberry, I have a ladybug, I have Care Bears, I have cats. Oh, this one isn't pink. What is that one doing in there? All we need is love. Okay, some of these got in here and they're not pink. I don't know how they got in here, but that one's definitely not pink. I know Justine's like, wait a minute, that's not pink. I love that pink and blue one. Super cute. You can do it. Yeah. These are some of the pink ones. Ooh, I really like that one. That one's so cute. Yes. Little by little, I'll be playing around more with the stickers and like I could spend a lot of time preparing for for the Bunny Birdie Gator store, putting together stickers and all that stuff. And I just do what I can from week to week, you know, every every little bit takes um, takes a lot of time and planning. So I try my best, you guys, and just trying to juggle, trying to juggle a lot of things right now, still trying to get settled in and little by little, I'm getting um, a lot of things settled in, but I still have like so much to do, you guys, after being in our last house as long as we were. It's going to take time to really get everything settled in. Like I don't have the house anywhere near where I really want it to be yet. I still need to make like a lot of purchases, but I'm just really taking my time in trying to find the pieces that I really like and really want and not bringing things into the house, unless it's for the store to resell, not bringing things into the house, unless I really, really like it, because like, it was ridiculous how much stuff we ended up accumulating. So I'm trying to have a different mindset. But yeah, that is a peek at some of the pink stickers. Let me know if I could put together a bundle for you, Justine. And now these ones, um, maybe I can leave them in the saran, saran wrap. I have the whole Sanrio uh, bundle here. I don't know if you guys can see with all the lights and all the reflections. We have cute frogs. Ooh, Diane says, I'm looking for a Marilyn Monroe bundle. Ooh, okay. I might have to see if I can find those for you. I believe this is a Hello Kitty, but it's a lot of Hello Kitty objects. We have another frog here. I can't remember what his name is. Another little frog. We have um, Starbucks. We have Boba. We have a Boba bundle. We have so many amazing um, Boba and Mochi and tea shops. Um, here, I there's a couple in particular. There's always like long lines and I'm like, oh, I bet everything in there is good. I really wanna go. So I'm really looking forward to trying all the new food and drink places in my area. Look at this little one. This is all bunnies. If you guys want me to take the saran wrap off and you want a closer look, I definitely will. Right now, this was um, this was how I packed <laughs> this tray for um, the move, and I just haven't taken it off yet. Justine says, I'm looking for pink flowers. Pink flowers, I might have um some pink flowers over here let's see because you know who has even more stickers yes jess says that's something i would be interested in too okay let me write that down let's see if i can try to find some maryland stickers Maryland stickers for Jess and Diane. Okay. You know, Justine, I could always, I mean, I have a lot more stickers, <laughs> a lot more stickers. I have a variety of, this is kind of a variety pack. Ooh, or Queen Elizabeth. Okay, I feel like I've seen some of those. What does this say? Flower Power and Betty Boop. Okay, let me write these down, you guys. Betty Boop, Queen Elizabeth. Okay. All right, I'm gonna see what I could do to locate those for you guys. 
Hmm. Yes. Jess, it sounds like you and Diane have a lot in common in your stickers that you're looking for. Okay, like Jess, um, not Jess, but um, Justine. We have, ooh, or a Victorian era. Okay, Victorian era. Ooh, you guys are gonna let me have fun sticker shopping, aren't you? Victorian era. Let's get the girly stickers. Let's get a, a bunch of really girly stickers. Do we have another pink one in here? Okay. I feel like I have a bunch of flowers. Let's see, I feel like I have some flowers somewhere. Let's see, let's see if I have any in here. I don't think Joy, Joy M, are you still here? I was telling you about um, an anime character. Oh, I think these ones are mostly hearts. I might have some flowers in this one. I'm going to check. I think I might have some flowers in this one. I was telling Joy M about a character. Let's see here. Oh, here she is. I don't think Joy's here anymore, though. But I was telling her about a little a character that I had, and I can't think of what her name is right now, but a little anime character. These are all really cute. It's all the same character, I think. Just different art styles of her, like different little facial expressions. I feel like, Justine, I could, like, See if I could put together a bundle for you. And if I have them, then I'll be like, yes, I have a bundle. And I could um, put it in your money request. But if I can't put together a bundle, of course, I wouldn't charge you. Because um, I feel like I have a whole bunch of flower stickers somewhere. Okay, these ones are love. These ones are, I think these ones are plants. You're obsessed with English history, art, and jewelry. Hmm. I love that you share your interests with us, Justine. I love learning more about each of you. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, have I, I don't think I've ever shared these with you guys. Have I ever shared these with you guys? They're adorable. Oh my gosh, look at these, you guys. Oh. Oh, cats and plants. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I don't think I ever shared these with you guys. I don't even know if I ever shared these with anyone. I don't think I did. Ooh, one bundle please, says Justine. You got it, Justine. Oh my gosh. Oh, look. Yes. Oh my gosh, I am really feeling these. Two things that I love. Aren't they cute, Jess? Two, oh my gosh. And so many of them are mommy. Mm -mm. We've all had that happen probably at least once, huh? I'm worried that if I get big plants, because I really want, I know, black kitties. I really want some big plants. But I'm really worried that my cats might do that. And I'm going to be so angry if they do. Because that's just going to ruin a plant. But I want some really big plants for the house. And I'm trying to think how I can accommodate that because I want some very big plants and we don't have a truck. I'm like, I might have to rent, uh, like rent a U-Haul or rent like a U-Haul truck to go plant shopping because I want big ones, like really big ones. Oh my gosh. I went to Home Depot and some of those plants are like humongous. And then there's this nursery out here um, in Vegas called, I think it's called Star Nursery that I really want to go to. It's on my uh, like wish list of places to go. <gasps> Justine, look at this one. Oh my gosh, it's mommy. It's mommy, mommy baby. Oh, these are so cute. 
easily distracted by cats and plants. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Adorable. I'm thoroughly enjoying looking at all of these. Aren't these so cute, you guys? How did I forget that I had these? I just, you know, right before I moved, you guys, I was, okay, Diane says, just put rocks on top of the soil. Thank you, Diane. Because I, I was wondering, what, what do you do, you know? Right before I moved, you guys, I had gotten a bunch. Justine says, okay, two bundles. You got it, Justine. Yeah. I had, I had a lot of things that I was getting and then I was just like, I, I just have to put it aside for later. And again, I never planned on having the store on vacation as long as I did, but that's just kind of what I ended up needing. Okay, Justine, I'll give you two bundles. Thank you so much. Let me jot that down. Two cat and plant sticker bundles. Okay, those were adorable. Let's see if I have anything else new in here. Oh, I have the little koalas. I think it's a variety. You guys have seen these ones before. The koalas, the pandas, not the pandas, the polar bears. Some of them are really big more cats. It's all like the same style. Or maybe I added some other cat ones. You guys know I have tons of cat, different cat bundles, just depending upon, upon what I pull out that night. Jess, even more cat stickers mixed in with pandas. You should get more of the cats and plants. Yes, those are so cute. I will. I'll get more of the cats and plants. Oh my gosh. Cuteness, cuteness overload. Penguins. Aw. Yeah, they're so cute, aren't they? I just have so many. I don't, like, I could probably do a sticker only, um, video sticker only sticker store you know sticker store calling all sticker lovers and just do stickers only you know i have more of the love i have mushrooms the mushroom the mushrooms are so trending right now i had ordered these mushrooms like a, over a year or so ago, and mushrooms have gotten so popular, um, like with everyone, including like the super younger people, all the mushroom lamps, the little domed mushroom lamps are like really trending right now. There's something else that's mushroom that I just been seeing like mushrooms on shirts and just a lot more mushrooms. It's a pretty cute fall thing, you know? Mycology, the study of fungi, the group that includes mushrooms and yeasts. I mean, they are like the largest living organism. It would be fun to have those nights for the store. Yeah, we should do it. Like that would be a good second, uh, a good second night of the week. Sort of like if we did like a Tuesday night. Ooh, I don't know if I can handle this one very well. Um, <laughs> What do you guys think? If we had a second uh, store night of the week, what, what day would you guys want to have it on? Because I'm thinking like if I had a second night, if it was something easy like stickers, I could probably ship twice a week. But if it wasn't just stickers, I would probably do like a Tuesday, but then hold those items and just do one, um, one round of shipping after the Thursday night auction, after the Thursday night store. But stickers would be so easy because um, stickers I can just put in an envelope. Craft night, yeah. Oh yeah, like stickers, 
what, like stickers and stationery or what, like a store night or, or something different? These are so cute. Who's ever eaten a morel mushroom? They are so amazing. Mushrooms are amazing. This, I love this one. It's so adorable. Cute little world in there. Yeah, you guys, I have, I have some cuties, some cuties in here. I have more dessert stickers. I still have some vintage stickers. Um, I know a lot of you, Tuesday, Thursday would be good. Okay, Tuesday, Thursday. I like it. Um, Morel mushrooms, Lori says, mmm. Um, Joy was suggesting that she liked Tuesdays as well. I'm not sure if you're still watching, Jenny. What do you think about Tuesdays, if you're still watching? Tuesday nights? Maybe a, maybe a simplified night, like, you know, stickers and stationery or something, like a uh, craft night, stickers and stickers and stamps and crafts and pens and like that sort of stuff. Carmen says, bye Mimi and everyone going to bed now. Hope everyone has a great and restful night. Love you all. We love you too, Carmen. Thank you so much for being here, Carmen. Love you. Good night, Carmen. Yes, I like the idea of Tuesdays. I'm gonna end with showing you guys one last little bundle and then I think I'm gonna go because I'm super hungry. Oh my gosh, Diane says, or a makeup night. Ooh, like, okay, like makeup and stickers or just makeup or, yeah, or what do you guys think? Combination of just like where it's kind of a specific night where you know what you're gonna get. Like maybe we pick a couple categories. These ones are all so cute and little, aren't they? Bears, this is like, they're not fuzzy. I mean, they're just paper, but everything is like cuddly and fuzzy, like bunnies, bears. Like if you could imagine that it's fuzzy, that's, that's this bundle. Good luck. Makeup and skincare night. I love it. Yeah, like a makeup and skincare night. And then maybe another night would be like a stickers and stationery night or something like that. I like it. Yes, I love it. Oh, little dinosaurs. Yeah, these ones are just so cute. Lots of pinks, lots of creams. So Justine, should I try to see if I can find some pink flowers? And if I do, um, just put it in the money request write-up that I did find it. And if I don't, then I then you just won't see it in the request. Does that sound good? Because I feel like I have a bundle of flowers somewhere. Hopefully, I think I do. Yes, rotate the specialty nights. I love that. I love that idea. Yeah, we have some little cute, oh, look at this little fluffy one. Aw, so adorable. Aw, oh, why so sad? I need to paint my nails, you guys. My nails are kind of like, eh. They're getting long again. I feel like they got really, um, they got really stained from the red nail polish, the months and months of red nail polish. And then, all the moving, um, they were in pretty bad shape, but I feel like they're starting to recover. They're still kind of stained from the red nail polish, like kind of at the ends. Um, I really need some lotion. But yeah, I need to get back to doing my nails again. I kind of miss it. I went to the gym for the first time, you guys, last night. Jai and I went to the gym. She had been wanting to go for a while, but I just felt like I just was like not really in the place of like feeling like I had enough checked off my list to where I felt emotionally and mentally available to go to the gym and like really feel like working out if that makes any sense. And I was like 
super, 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 super loyal right up until like a couple weeks before we started packing like crazy. Um, this is a bumble, you guys. I was super, super, super loyal, never missed a workout, like worked out on auction days. Um, I was working out twice a week. I really would like to bump it up to three days a week here. Um, but we went to this gym and it is like, I have never in my life seen a gym so busy with so many people. It's absolutely insane. Oh, a starry night moon sticker. This is a pretty blue bundle, isn't it, you guys? But yeah, you guys, so I'm trying to little by little get um, get everything going again. We got the store um, going back as of last week. Today's the second one. Um, oh, I can add these ones. Perfect. I can add these blue ones that I had set aside. Uh, maybe that was originally a pink and blue bundle when I showed you the pink bundle because I did have some blues in there. Oh my gosh, Converse. Did you use the gem? at the house when you were there. Oh, at the hotel. Hold on, let me see. I have the hearts in the way. I only went to the hotel gym a couple times. I was on the elliptical and did some free weights and some squats and lunges and stuff like that. But when we were at the hotel, uh, it was a lot of work uh, just to be eating in the room. Uh, which is what we were trying to do most of the time because we all got uh, tired of fast food really quick. So we were trying to eat in the room. We had a tiny fridge. And at the first hotel we were at, we had a full kitchen, but it was booked solid for two weeks on the weekends. So we wouldn't have been able to stay there. So we ended up going to a different gym, a different um, hotel, and it didn't have the full kitchen, it didn't have the full fridge. So we were doing a lot of going to the store almost every day to get food to cook in the room and or food to eat um, because the fridge was so small and we didn't have a stove and oven like in the other hotel. So, you know, hotel living is pretty, um, it requires a lot of effort, you know? And um, we had the one bathroom and we had the cats with us and, we were dealing with the realtor and touring houses and doing applications and it was a lot, you know? So I know the kids went to the gym a lot and they went to the pool a fair amount. I only went to the pool one time and I only went to the gym like two times. And it was just a lot of work just to eat, you know? Just to eat and to keep up with laundry and all that other stuff like, and all of us just being in, the hotel together in one big room was a lot of work, you know, <laughs> a lot of work. So I was so relieved when we found a house and we had a kitchen and everyone had their own room and we had more than one bathroom. It was really, really nice. It was like, I'm still appreciating that, you know, still very, very thankful for that. But I do um, really appreciate the moments and the times and that time we had together under those circumstances because it was just so it was a unique experience and it was a special time and even though it was a little bit stressful it was exciting and uh it was just so different you know what I mean like oh my gosh you guys we're here we're here in Vegas you know we actually moved like everything we own is out there in the moving truck in the parking lot like our entire house like that was definitely a unique experience and um, I wouldn't trade it for anything, you know? So, yeah. So little by little, getting settled in, getting a gym membership, getting the store uh, situated back. I think I hear Jaya upstairs building a brand new dresser that she just got delivered today. Um, still waiting on Gator's new mattress. Um, really haven't, done anything in our bedroom we have our original bed and mattress which I love the mattress the bed we've had for a really long time it's a sleigh bed kind of looks outdated now that it's in this house and I don't really know if I want to keep it anymore I might be over it I might be over the sleigh bed 
you know? However, all of my kids grew up in that bed, you know? And I'm kind of sentimental about it, but I'm kind of over, thank you, Amy. I'm kind of over the dark wood look. It's kind of like a cherry, cherry-ish sort of sleigh bed. And I don't know if I want that anymore. It's just so big and kind of makes it hard to see the TV, which we do like watching movies in the room sometimes. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I might want to like a whole new look, you know, for the bedroom. It's a very big master bedroom. It has a whole um, area that we could have like a whole TV, couch, like area for TV if we wanted. But there's definitely some decisions to be made. You know, do we keep the sleigh bed? Do we set up a living room area in the bedroom that like the whole family can come and watch TV in and we can chill in, kind of treat like a second like living room, TV room? Or do we change out the bed and kind of go from there? I'm not really sure. Yeah, how exciting to decorate the house. Yes, Justine, we're very much slow walking it. We still don't even have a kitchen table. We left our kitchen table and chairs in Minnesota and we don't have one now. We had no room left in the moving truck. We left lots of nice things. Uh, <laughs> but it's my, my parents. Uh, they were our landlords. And my dad's like, I'm really happy to have a full table and chairs down here because we're definitely going to use it. And we're going to allow, like, when family visits to stay in the house. So he's like, I'm really happy he said he's really happy to have the table and chairs, the full set. It's really nice. Um, expandable table, very big. And uh, he's he's happy to have it. But, now, but we have been sitting on the couch, sitting at the bar, sitting on various things, you know. So, yeah, we're just taking our time, you know, taking our time. Um, I'm trying to recover a little bit from some of the living in the hotel, moving expenses, gas expenses getting here and yeah i need to do a little recovery you know so definitely slow walking it all but wow you guys thank you so much for being here and uh listening and listening to me uh share and thanks for all of you that are always here and so open and sharing and uh making this so much fun for everyone in the chat and for me you guys, I really love connecting with you guys. And I missed you guys so, so much all summer long. I really missed you guys. And uh, I'm really happy that we're all getting back and um, having this time to hang out and connect and shop and have fun and look at pretty things and look at cute things together. Yes. Thank you, Justine. Justine said, fun sale tonight. Diane said, I left a lot of stuff when I moved here. I had a card table for a while. Lori says, glad you're back. Missed you, Bunny, Be Bunny Birdie Gator family. Yes, I miss you guys so, so much. I'm super happy to be back. And I'm looking forward to turning this room into something because I really want to have this room be a fun place for us to hang out together. Um, virtually, I would love possibly love to get like maybe a love seat in here i'd love to be sitting like on a love seat and be super comfortable showing you guys things like we're just hanging out in the living room together you know like like i'm like girls i just went shopping look what i have uh okay opening up the bags like we do with our friends that share the interest with us and we like show that one friend or those two friends that actually care to see the cute stuff that we got when we came back from shopping, you know? Like, that's how I want it to feel. So, yeah, you guys, little by little, just be patient with me. Um, I, I wish I could just snap and have everything be where it needs to be, but got a lot. I got a lot in here. And I guess the only way the room is going to free itself up a little bit is that I put forth the effort to share the stuff. And hopefully you guys buy some of the stuff um, on Thursdays or on Tuesdays if we start doing twice a week. But yeah, looking forward to getting the room together. Aw, I love you guys so, so much. 
Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for shopping with me. To everyone watching on Playback, thanks for being here. Uh, if you guys see anything that you'd like to purchase, you can DM me at Bunny Birdie Gator or send me an email, bunnybirdiegator at gmail, if you'd like me to put together an order for you. Um, so much of what I showed is still available. So yeah, let me know what you'd like and I'd love to put together a box for you guys. Thank you guys so, so much. Good night, Lori. Good night, Justine. Good night, Jess. Good night, Amy from the Gigi and Ollie show. Um, good night, Diane, Bree, everyone that still may be watching. I know a few people already left, but good night, everyone. I love you so, so much. And I'll be sending your invoices off soon. If there's anything else that you'd like to add, feel free to add it. Um, I'll probably send invoices off tomorrow night. So you guys still have some time if there's something that you're thinking about. But okay, you guys, I'm out of here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye.